Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to all of you. How's everyone doing today? We're well, all having a good time. Thank you very much for joining me on the stream. Sorry there was no video today, as I've explained. December is my month of uh, relaxing with the video quota, the upload amount that I normally hit. I've decided to take a bit of a bit of a step back from Mick Loss. Hi Josh, I love you. Mick, I love you too. Okay? Just don't let anyone know. That's got it's gotta be a secret. It's got to be a very, very secretive secret. Nobody can know. All right? Our love must remain secret forever. Do not inform people, especially not the Twitch chat. That shouldn't be what you do. I love you too. Don't forget about me. Valia, you can join in. It's okay. It is entirely okay. But no, in all seriousness, <laughs> conveniently enough, December is the month I want, to f I want fewer videos from you. Good. Good. I'm glad that we can uh, team up on that. Work together. So no, basically, here's what happened. My hair looks fabulous today. What's my secret? Not getting a haircut. And um, that's pretty much it. That's that's basically the extent of what I do in order to get these luscious locks. I wake up every morning, I look in the mirror, and I think, I should get a haircut. And then you know what? I don't do that. That's exactly the opposite of what I do. Hey, that's the thing. So, like, basically, I am, your Dragon Age Origin stream has got me into Dragon Age Inquisition. You are welcome. I've heard Inquisition's a good game. I'm looking forward to getting to it. Right, let us make a start. Okay, remember, this is uh, it's not about fun. This stream is not about fun at all. This stream is about serious gameplay. Look at this guy. This guy? It's a serious face. That is a serious gameplay face right there. I'm also not quite... Uh, the audio doesn't quite seem to be picking up on uh, on the thing. Let me just uh, double check. There, there we go. Hang on. Just double check. Yeah, now you guys are going to get audio. Now we're going to be able to hear the game. Look at that beautiful face. Flame weapons going on in the background anyway. Bought a third monitor, Josh and Callum on at the same time. I best be on the second monitor. Callum can have the primary, that's absolutely fine. Chad, thank you very much for the sub. That is remarkably kind of you. Right, here we go. You guys ready? Please show dogs. They're downstairs. They're chilling. They're relaxing. The cat's asleep on the bed. We're here. We've got time. The dogs will be involved, don't worry. The dogs will be involved eventually. But for now, you know what's going to happen now? What's going to happen now is this. I'm going to have a sip of tea. I'm going to chill out. I'm going to play some Dragon Age Origins. He's so serious. He shaved off the bit of his... Yes, I did. I'm looking windswept and interesting. Thank you, Johnny. I tend to... That's what I go for. I go for the windswept and interesting look. I want the hair to go kind of like this. This crazy kind of bad head thing going on. What you don't want to do is style this wrongly. Because if you style it wrong, it just does that. And then that's kind of... that. That's not what you want. That's kind of like... Basically, I've got a white man afro. Generally referred to as a wafro. Because this is just so super curly. My hair doesn't grow down, it grows out. All right? If I leave my hair, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. That's what happens. Right? This is exactly what happens. But I'm okay with that. I'm fine. I've uh, I've got used to rocking the wafro. So this is what we do. Here we go. Right. You guys ready? Okay, no more fun. Stop it. Stop having fun. No more fun. Until I end the stream with the clip. The whole stream is going to be a clip. That's all it is. Now, if I remember correctly, what we were doing was killing some, uh, some werewolves. We were in the Brazilian forest. There's some hallow beasts. There's some werewolves. We need to kill the main werewolf in order to get the heart. The main werewolf's heart is going to be the most important thing we need today. My goodness, thank you very much for the sub. That is remarkably kind of you. What do I think of Path of Exile? I only played it a long time ago and I had some... I enjoyed it. I played Path of Exile a while ago. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a good time. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly what it's like now because I'm not uh, you know, super up to date on it, but I remember definitely having a good time on, uh, on Path of Exile. There's lots of games though that I haven't played that are really good. Nice jetpack. Thank you. See? Got these two flaming swords going on. Have I played Moo online? Not yet. Not yet. Dragon Age Happy Wednesday. Yep. Nero, thank you very much for the cheer. That's remarkably kind of you. Here we go. So, we're going to go and hunt some werewolves down. That's my main plan. Now, I think I've pretty much got everyone's a great bear. Interesting. Now, I think I've got all the tactics kind of set as I want to have them set. So I'm just going to see what happens if I use all of my team as they should be. You know, I'm not going to worry too much about uh, changing the tactics. I'm going to let Alistair throw himself at the Great Bear. I'm going to let my guys you know, do this. 
Will I do Neverwinter Nights on the second channel? Look, the second channel is definitely going to continue on, but All it's right. going to continue on slowly. Because the second channel videos take ages to make. They take even longer to make when I'm uh, trying to work on the first channel as well. Uh, leather boots hardened. I do not need those. But now, the next game on the second channel is going to be the original Tomb Raider. That's what it's going to be. The original Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider 1 from 1996. Mill Online is not a game reviewable in eight hours. Uh, Dimitas, every game is a game reviewable in eight hours. If the eight hour experience the game gives you is grind, then uh, that's what the end of the game is pretty much going to be. You can review. And this is something I try to explain to people. When I review a game in eight hours, I'm not necessarily looking at the quality of the end game. What I'm looking at is the quality of the build. Think about it like this. Imagine you walked in. Do you need to eat every single item on a restaurant menu in order to judge the quality of the overall restaurant? Well, no, because you can eat one meal. You can look at the quality of the the internals of the restaurant. You can look at the quality of the advertising. You can look at the quality of the staff. You can look at the quality of the ingredients they're using. You can look at the quality of everything else. And you can say, right, looking at the quality of all of this, I can assume the general quality is going to be Kind of that. That's what we do. So let's imagine this. If you log on to a game and the first thing the game does is crash, like you don't need to play the rest of the game to know that it might be a little bit dodgy. That's the one to do it. Any game worth buying now? Yeah, loads of things. Absolutely loads of things. Unless you go to a steak. Yeah, if you go to a steakhouse and order the salmon, obviously it's going to look a little bit weird. But if you go to a game that's about grinding in the first eight hours, it is ridiculously boring. What it's telling you is that they don't care about new players. And that is extremely indicative of what the rest of the design is going to be like. If you play a game and you don't have fun within the first two or three hours, what does that tell you about the design team? It tells you the design team do not know how to make an engaging experience within the first three hours. And if they can't do that, and they're saying, oh, it gets fun when you're 18, 100 hours in, they're relying on the sunk cost fallacy, not their design skill. That's what it is. If a game takes more than a couple of minutes to get you into a fun, enjoyable experience part, what it's telling you about that design team is they don't know how to do that. And that's pretty bad. That's pretty sucky. If they don't know how to do that, if they don't know how to get it fun within just... Alistair, I need you back here, mate. And I need you on hold so you don't go running everywhere. Run back here. Order. The reason I need you on hold is so when Morrigan runs across, you can use Ice Breath to freeze this up. Fantastic. And now everyone can attack that. Oh, should have waited till the ogre got there, to be fair. Right, we'll unfreeze and we'll just everyone go onto the ogre. All right, cool. Everyone on the ogre now. Wait until Morrigan can catch the thing again. At least, hey, at least the ogre can't attack me. That's the important thing. Just watch your luck catches. Oh, man, what a weird thing that was. Luck catches was odd. That was not good at all. Alice is about to die because he's being pummeled by an ogre. Thankfully, we can now just get everyone ranging this, dude. Love watching you on my tiny phone monitor. I would expect nothing else. As soon as you put me on a... I get bad if you put me on a big monitor. Yeah, you can review it, but the game is just grinding. If you play a game... Like, imagine that you read a book, and the first half of the book is terrible, and the second half of the book is really good, and people say to you, yeah, the first half is terrible, but you need to get through it. Do you know what that tells you about the author, or about the editor more specifically? It tells you they don't know how to make a good book, because if they did know how to make a good book, they would know that taking that first half out is a good idea. If you leave crap bits in your game, that is just as telling as putting good bits in your game. Because you're saying that padding your game's runtime out is more important to you than just giving the player a good, high-quality experience. You're on my main monitor. Yes! Have I been promoted to main monitor equipment? That, that's what I want to do. That's where I want to ever get to. You need the crap bits to make the good bits look even better. No, you need the good bits to make the great bits look amazing. Don't leave crap in in order to say, oh, this makes the good a gravestone. Interesting. You see a tombstone before you. It gives you an uneasy feeling. I'm going to leave that tombstone alone. I have not played Cyberpunk yet. No, I will play Cyberpunk eventually. It is on the list of games to play. Fallen Tree. Rare. Oh, Rare Iron Bark. Fantastic. We needed some Rare Iron Bark, didn't we? 
Painted Sky Ball. Interesting. Cool. Oxbone. Also a gift. Take some gifts for things. We needed some iron... Uh, that was it. The iron tree thing over there. Let's see how we get back down and around to that. Because that... Fantastic. That was a quest we needed. Oh, excellent. Wild Sylvan is now attacking me. Well, let's take you down as fast as we can. Oh, he's captured me. That's fine. Hopefully Alistair will be able to to deal with him. Come on, guys. That's it. Keep attacking. Yeah, no problem at all. For the join the party animation, that Josh. Um, which one is it? No. Although I wish it was. That's Riker. That was the serious Sam hit sound. They probably use the same, uh, the same kind of sound effect bank, if you will. I am minimized on your phone while you play Clash Royale. I mean, that just hurts. I mean, there's, there's low and there's low. Iron Bark, let's grab you. Sweet, we've got some Iron Bark. We can now finish the Iron Bark quest. I'm pretty happy with that. Ancient Tombstone, don't need you. North exit to the East Forest. Where are the rest of the, the werewolves? Because the werewolves should be around here. Maybe we should go back and hand in the Iron Bark. Yeah, because we can hand in the Iron Bark... And is there anything else we needed to do? You found the iron bark, return to the smith. This dude wants me to find some woman's body. So what we'll do is we'll keep adventuring kind of south and to the east to see what else we can find. Until we get I want to do every quest we can here before we um every quest here before I head back if I can. It's just more efficient. Cause you know that I'm all about efficient gameplay. I am one I am Mr. Efficient. Okay, so, right, we've got three werewolves coming up. Win, fall back. Morrigan, come we forward. Uh, everyone press H to hold your position. Morrigan forward, me yes. back. With Morrigan here, switch to Ice Breath. Freeze at least one of them, that's fine. And now we'll all pile on this dude just here. Everyone else attack that one. I'll go on to him. We'll use Alistair for tanking some other stuff. Cool, we've shattered them. I was taking some other guys. I'm getting this, see? I am really getting this. It's taken me some time to get to this point. But I think now I'm starting to understand the Dragon Age games. I'm really starting to get them. I'm, I'm feeling tactical. I think I've got my tactics set up. I've got my combat stuff ready. Hey, we're getting there. Did you introduce yourself to the ladies as Mr. Efficient? I did. I did. I'll tell you what, it does not have the effect you think it will. It doesn't. You you introduce yourself to the ladies as, hey, I'm Mr. Efficient. It is right. not as sexy as you think it sounds. Because their mind goes somewhere else. So, you don't do it. Do not do it. Living room TV content. I'll take it. Okay? It's not perfect, but I'll take it. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, I get things done quick. If you've only got five minutes free, not a problem. We can make that happen. We can make that work. How does this game compare to Pillars of Eternity? Pillars of Eternity is more of a classic Baldur's Gate style RPG. This is more of an action combat style. Um, it's not actually action combat. It is more... It's still turn-based and it's still re effectively real-time with pause. But it's... I suppose it's the 3D modelling effect of it. I think that Pillars of Eternity is... It's probably a little bit deeper. Dragon Age is fun, but you very quickly realise that each class is really good at doing one thing. So, you know, mages are amazing at freezing things. Yeah, Inquisition's action-based. That's what we need to go through. Is it the stream of the world's greatest Dragon Age player? It is. Allow me to show you what makes me the world's greatest Dragon Age player. See that tree? Watch this. I'm about to kill it. See? Look at that tree. That tree was alive, and now it's half alive. It's resisting a lot of damage. That's because I'm not using the correct attacks. But look, we've nearly killed it, and you're all welcome. I know! I think one thing was strange about Dragon Age is how OP crowd control is. Yeah, crowd control is ridiculously powerful, and that's why I am exploiting it to its fullest. I am absolutely, completely exploiting crowd control. I don't quite know why so many of these trees are attacking me. You know, I haven't really... I haven't done anything bad to them, apart from killing several of them before I got here. I've not done anything bad. Just watch your Guild Wars 1 video, you destroyed me with a nostalgia bomb. Honestly, Guild Wars 1 is definitely worth downloading and playing again. If you played it a while ago, do it again. Download it. Buy it. Go back to it. 
if I... Oh my goodness, um, Valia, thank you very much for the gift subs. That is incredibly kind of you. If I hadn't already played Guild Wars 1, I, w I think Guild Wars 1 is probably a game that I'm going to go back to on stream at some point. Because I very much enjoy it. Now, yeah, what I want to do is, I've noticed there's a lot of... Uh, oh. Oh, bugger. There's a lot of wild sylvans around here, and I think I want to kill them all before I talk to that Grand Oak. Because I've got a feeling, for some reason, that that Grand Oak is going to make all the sylvans attack me. And I don't want to be here when, you know, when, when they're doing that. That seems like a bad idea. Level 3 Hype Train has kicked off. Thank you very, very much. That is incredibly kind of all of you. I'm surprised Guild War 1 still active. Is this vanilla or mods? This is vanilla, man. This is 100% vanilla. Straight up vanilla, okay? No mods, no extras, no changes. Just me with my bow, Alistair with his, his shield and his tanking, Morrigan with her DPS, and Wynn is also here. I like it vanilla, yeah, straight up. Don't uh, don't want anything freaky or weird, just vanilla. Hmm. What manner of beast be thee? That comes before this elder tree. He rhymes. Brilliant. Okay, cool. Can't you see me? I'm a werewolf. <laughs> um, you're going to attack me, aren't you? Ah, thou speakest of the others. How filled they are with hate. I apologize on their behalf. They cannot control their fate. Dude rhymes. Allow I like me it. a moment to welcome thee. I am called the Grand Oak, sometimes the Elder Tree. It rhymes? It is a rhyming tree. <laughs> One can only imagine what manner of spirit is involved here. The world is certainly full of marvelous, unexpected marvelous. creations. Each day we see something that we never thought possible. And unless thou thinkst it far too soon, might I ask of thee a boon? I will absolutely, 100%, do literally whatever you need. What do you need? I have but one desire. To solve a matter very dire. As I slept one early morn, a thief did come and steal an acorn. I see. And you uh, you want it back, yeah? All I have is my being, my seed. Without it, I am alone indeed. My character without a helmet I is gorgeous. Go and seek it out. Please and notice me, Daddy. I noticed you, Nigel. If left without. I noticed. You're there. All right, cool. Yep, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go and grab your acorn then. I will help you. Go to the east to find this man. I shall await... Do what thou can. Go and find an acorn. Oh, br I'm ready for this. This is 100% classic Dragon Age. The acorn quest. I know that you are all yearning for the acorn quest. Oh, hang on, that enemy dropped something I didn't pick up. What was the thing that you dropped? More Lyrium potions. Useful for the mages, to be fair. All right, let's go uh, grab the, the acorn. This is a top-tier RPG. It is, isn't it? Let's go find the acorn. I want to see what's happening with the acorn. Anything up here? Anything around here? I don't know if we, oh, we can go down there. I'm never quite sure what you can and can't go up or down. So, southeast forest. Yeah, south exit to the east forest. We'll go to the east. We'll see what there is. We've got one over here. You say you're a good tactician. You don't spam cone of cold all the time. I will do eventually. My goodness. Um, really quick. Hope you're enjoying the game. Thank you very, very much for the cheer. That is incredibly kind of you. Inquisitions are also good. Hey, we're going to get to Inquisition, don't you worry. Two, I will add you to the VIP list. The VIP list is being reset pretty soon, so I will add you to that. Make sure you get the strawbs for that, don't you worry. Right, let's pop over to the east if we can. Just started playing this game again on the Xbox. Oh, you're on the Xbox, are you? Okay, cool. Let me show you something you can't do. Yeah. Yeah, look at this, see? This tactical view, all right? VIP list is being reset. All the VIPs are going away. Red Sky, they've got to, because we've maxed out VIPs. The channel literally cannot have any more VIPs. And everyone's redeeming it every day. I, I, there's nothing I can do. I need to reset it, unfortunately. You always knew it was only ever going to be a temporary thing. 
Will you ever check out Vindictus? Jack, interesting you asked that. Guess what game I spent all day playing. I'll give you a clue. It's Vindictus. So, how do you describe Vindictus? Um, Vindictus is like Guild Wars 1 and Terra had a baby and then didn't care for it. That's what it is. It's basically a... Um, it's got the kind of hub-based areas with missions that you go on in instanced zones, like Guild Wars 1. And it's also got um, action combat, like Terra. But it's, it, it's just not great. There's, there's bits that don't work. It, a lot of it's really good. The combat system is fine. You know, I enjoyed the combat system. Well, I say that, I played eight hours and all I ever did was left click. Like, people keep saying, oh, you know, it's... Basically, imagine a fantasy version of Warframe with a lot more glitches. That's the best way to describe it. Fantasy Warframe with a hell of a lot of glitches. Red Sky, got 100 VIPs already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the channel has like 57,000 followers now. It's, it's really popular. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, we've already maxed out VIPs. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, what I noticed about Vindictus is it is just, it's fantasy warfare, pretty much. It is just fantasy warfare. Are they fun glitches, though? No. No, they cause the game to crash. They cause the game to crash, they, um, they make major lag, some of the uh, items and sets just don't work. It's not good. What is a defunct MMO you miss playing? Otherland. Other land shut down, by the way. It legit did shut down. That, that's actually a real shame. I was genuinely saddened by that. Um, even if it wasn't a good game, I enjoyed just logging on to do some you know, hours and grind around and see what there is and go and explore the, the beautiful looking stuff. But no, unfortunately, yeah, Other Land did, uh, did indeed 100% shut down. Forest Barrier. What is this? Interesting. What? Oh goodness, Red! Thank you very much for the uh, the subs. That's remarkably kind of you. Wait, we are back at the beginning of the path. Interesting. The forest, it seems, does not wish us to reach wherever the path leads. It's one of these things. How protective. I see. Right, so we can't go that way because the forest barrier is blocking us. So what we need to do is kill the forest, and after we have successfully killed the forest. We should be okay. Right, so I don't want anyone to run forward. Because if people run forward, what happens is everyone starts... They'll aggro the other things. So what we'll do is we'll wait for the, the Sylvan to come to us. We'll keep attacking like this. Because if Alistair runs forward, he ends up attacking those trees as well. And we do not want to aggro... There we go. We don't want to aggro the other trees. And what I can now do is very slowly creep forward until that end becomes aggroed. Just really... Yeah, there. then run backwards. Then start shooting. Heck, and then these guys will get involved. Beautiful, see? Top tier tactics. This is why I am the greatest Dragon Age player of all time. And we're doing a full Dragon Age series playthrough. I'm doing at least the first game. Possibly the second as well. I don't know about Inquisition, but if I can, yes. Because I've never played any of them. You remember doing the exact tactic. I told you, I know what I'm doing. Is it on easy? No, this is on normal. Okay, normal. Is that your bartender uniform? No, this is what I normally uh, normally dress in. This is how I normally dress up. You got some sexy bartenders if that's how they all dress. I'm gonna go to a bar with uh, everyone hanging out wearing, uh, wearing waistcoats and shirts. Nice mug, thank you. It's a Skyrim mug. This game is unexpectedly challenging. You know what? That is a good way of describing it. Unexpectedly challenging. I've died a couple of times. I have died a couple, and I didn't expect to. Because I am, as people know, the greatest Dragon Age player. Mithril's Blessing, Tier 4 Shield. 10% uh, to healing effects received. I'll take that. Is that better for Alistair? There's a question. So your current shield is Tier 2, Defense 4. Right, what's your... Uh that is tier 4, defense 1.5. So it's actually lower defense. Missile deflection, strength modifier, 
melee crit chance, healing effects received. I don't know if that's better. Oh, okay, right now you're on tier 5, 28 strength, armor 10. Yeah, your splint nail is fine for what you've got on currently. I'm waiting. Alistair needs to level up so I can level his strength up because I've got a load of good armor in my inventory waiting for Alistair to be able to use it, but he can't use it until uh, until he's leveled up because he needs more strength. The armor needs strength. Do you choose your mug like others choose what to wear? Yes, that's what it is. I don't choose what to wear. Every single day I wake up, I know what I'm going to wear. Every single day. It's just going to be, you know, jeans... White shirt, waistcoat, pretty much it. But I choose my mug. Um, Kaneto, thank you very, very much for these subs. That is incredibly kind of you. Am I still going to play Pandemonium? Let me answer that question once and for all. If your question is, hey, are you going to play? The answer is yes. It just depends when I play it. I have a lot of games to play and a limited amount of time to be alive. So I'm trying as hard as I can to get around to playing all of those games eventually. Oh, goodness me, what was that? Hello, Mr. Hermit, who randomly appeared in front of me. How's it going? Oh dear, oh dear. Not a werewolf and not a spirit even. What other woods coming to? Wait, are you the thief who took the Grand Oaks acorn? Mayhap I did and mayhap I didn't. Have you come to claim it back? Oh, what fun. But we are getting ahead of ourselves already. Ask a question and you'll get a question, but give an answer and you'll receive the same. Oh, I do so love to trade. I literally want to shoot you in the face with a bow right now. He's got the crazy eyes going on. He's a weird mage. He's a hermit. He's probably some kind of elder god. Like, um, or I could just kill you. Right. I just, I just really want the Grand Oaks acorn. No, that is not a question. And if it be an answer, it'd be an answer to a question I've not asked. Have you no sense for the rules? Be cautious. This is no ordinary madman. He has magic. I can sense it. Powerful magic. No fair bringing mages to a guessing game. Will you play by the rules or not? You're a mage. Right. You're, you're a ma what? You can't bring mages to a guessing game. You're a mage. Fine. Would you like to ask me a question? I think it is your turn to ask, is it not? Interesting. Do you have the Grand Oaks acorn? Ah, suddenly it all becomes clear. You hear that talking tree there? It all makes sense now. As a matter of fact, yes. I do have that tree's acorn. I stole it, and it was easy. Silly tree should have locked it up tighter. If you want it, you'll have to trade me for it. And nothing from that silly tree. No leaves or branches or anything. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. Right. Um, do you want to ask me another question? May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. Now, what shall be the first? Oh, yes. What is your name? Sir Lancelot? <laughs> what is your quest? Uh, you may call me Twitch Chat. Uh -huh. So you claim. They sent you, didn't they? But you're too tricky, and you're trying to fool me. Well, I'm on to you, just so you know. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Oh, I can't ask what is your favourite colour. Um, how do I enter the centre of this forest? It's where the wolfmen have their lair. But the trees will block the path. There's a way to fool the trees, of course. Trees are thick, wooden things, after all. Easily fooled, if you know how. Raven says, what's the average speed of a swallow? Uh, English swallow or an African swallow? Right. How do you fool them? Oh my, no, that's quite a question. I think that answer deserves something a little extra first, don't you? I stole something from an oak tree some time ago, and it won't stop pestering me for it back. Would it be <laughs> no. so good as to turn it into firewood or something equally dead? Right. Turn the pestering oak into fire. Are you talking about the rhyming oak tree? You know of it? Good. That makes this much easier. Yes, that's the one. I'm not going to kill some oak tree just because you asked me to. It's up to you. Yes, indeedy. Your choice. Time to move on now. Right. I'm... Maybe we should kill him. Should we kill the crazy hermit? Because he wants us to burn down the rhyming oak tree. Fight him. Um, 
I think we should. You know what? You want me to burn down the oak tree. You are going to die. Not fair. Not fair. This is completely against the rules. Interesting. And he just throws hands. Can we attack? Can I use pinning shot on you? As you desire. Wait. You just watch your manners. I've only so much blood in this frail right, body. Right, you can't line. attack him. I intend to keep it there. He does not actually teleport. He uses illusions, impressive ones even. When his mind was intact, I suspect this mage was powerful. Huh. You hear that? I intend to keep it there, so no more of your shenanigans. Right, so he loses illusions. I, I should go. Oh, I see. You're going to report to them now, are you? Fine. Goodbye. Oh. I was going to... Let's save the game. Cool, now we'll talk to him and attack him again. What's this now? See? You again? We've saved the game. Go away? And now we attack him. Not fair. Not fair. That was the this second time to attack. The rules. And he just seems irritated again. Um, just attack again? Orders. Maybe? He uses illusions to disappear. No doubt it is how he survives in this form. Oh, now Wynne gets a he... quote huh. about you hear it. That? I intend to keep it there, so no more of your shenanigans. Let's attack him again. <laughs> oh, and he just teleports again. Right, that's not you. What's this tree stump? I've yet to... It appears someone has dug a hole beneath the stump, leading to a tiny and filthy cave of sorts. Obviously the hermit sleeps in there. Let's go down. There also appears to be a small cubby hole within the body of the trunk itself. It's filled with mud, twigs and other debris. Hold on you. That's private property. That's an old man's home, that is. Keep out. Keep out. Right. I see. So the old man is living down there, but the thing we're talking to is an illusion of him. Gotcha. I'm going to reach into the random little cubby hole. You find something and grab onto it. You feel something else moving around in the mud, and it stabs your hand painfully as you yank your prize out. You're a robber, is what you are. They sent you, didn't they? Well, I'll show you. They won't get away with this. Right, I may have been poisoned. Because everything's gone very green. Oh, goodness me, hermit. Greater rage demon, greater rage demon. That's not what you want to see. That's not good. Welcome to the stream, by the way. If it's your first time catching it, hopefully you're having a good time. I promise to be at least somewhat entertaining. Let's try and freeze these greater rage demons to start off with. And after freezing them, let's get into doing some damage. Is it worth killing? I'm going to kill the greater rage demon first, if we can. Let's see if we can uh, take advantage. Yeah, we'll shatter all that. Then we'll shatter this rage demon. Win, I want you attacking the hermit and freezing him if you can. And hopefully he'll be frozen pretty soon. Uh, yeah, come on, freeze the hermits. You can do this. You know what, no, everyone just keep attacking the greater rage demon. I'll keep focusing on him. Oh, if I attack him, I can knock you down, can't I? I can use the knockdown arrow. Hopefully pin you back slightly. And after you've been pinned... Alright, now we've got this. Now we're doing good. Morrigan, you've got uh, the freeze thing ready again. So we're going to use Morrigan's freeze ability. Because crowd control is just broken powerful in this game. And now everyone pile on the hermit. Check me out, see? Check me out. Look at this. Look at how we are doing. Guys, we are great. I wasn't even lying in the title. Greatest. After playing Mystic Warrior. I'm enjoying playing Ranger. I am enjoying playing Ranger. Now let's have a look at this monk, this hermit's body. Right. right, magic staff. Steel. Very nice. Interesting. Dream. Dream sever. 10% spirit damage. Expert frost rune, a garnet. And some stuff. Okay, we'll take all of that. That's all mine now. Is that staff better than the one Morrigan was using? She was using a tier 3 staff plus 1 magic. One we just picked up is plus 1 magic. What about you, Win? Oh, your, yeah, your staff is really good. So it's not actually better than anything I was using at the time. So I guess uh, 
I guess we'll just keep it this way for the time being. Well, let's save the game one more time. I have seen your video on pay to win, and I have a question. You said in the video you can pay to skip time and grinding by pain. It can be considered pain to win, but what if the play slash grind is fun? You are playing to have fun, and if you unlock areas based on levels, everyone can have at some power as you. Would it be considered pain to win? Right. It depends what your definition... See, this is the problem with pay to win. Everyone thinks it either is or isn't. It's a scale. It's a spectrum. It is, here is the game, here is the challenge, here is the reward. If you can put money and make the challenge easier or quicker and get the reward, you are paying to get the reward faster, which is what pay to win is. People say, oh, well, you don't need to pay. Yeah, that's fine. But the fact that you can devalues the reward, because then when you get the reward and you see other people having it, you don't see and know that they've been through the same thing you've been through. You just know that they've got the same reward, but they could have achieved it in different ways. That's the difference. You can train for 10 to 15 years at a martial art to be awarded a black belt because you have achieved that status. Or you can just go and buy a black belt on eBay right now. The difference is one person doesn't have the same experience as the other. If you want to just own a black belt, yeah, that's absolutely fine. If you want to have the knowledge and the experience and the lifestyle that comes with being a black belt, you have to go and do that. When they say, oh, it's pay to win, what they're saying is the more money you put in, the quicker you get to the reward of the game, which means they're placing the reward above everything else. It's not, oh, the game is or isn't pay to win. It is, the game has aspects and elements where adding more money into it gets you to the reward easier and quicker. Of course. Right, let's see what's in this chest over here. Uh, oh, some gold. We'll take that. Now, what was underneath the quick say? What's underneath this tree stump? There is nothing in the trunk that appears worthy of your time. But we can get down there, can't we? Can we not get down to the bottom of the tree stump? Can we go underneath it? No, apparently not. That's a shame. I thought we can get it. Did we pick up the acorn? Did we ever grab the acorn? Yeah, we got the acorn. Fantastic. So we've got the acorn back. We can go and give the acorn back to the tree dude. There we go. Your character, what have you created? I've created a gorgeous man. I don't understand what you mean. My character is lovely. Okay, look at him. That is the face of a hero right there. If you're in trouble, that is the man you want to come and save you. Doesn't matter what trouble you're in, you know he's going to be able to stab it with his chin. So it would be pay to access, but you don't really win if you're just quicker to reach a goal or an item. I can pay to get a black belt on eBay, but when I go to a dojo, I get beaten up. Yes, you would, evil. But remember, the item is the reward. That's it. So if you walked into a room full of people and you had a black belt on, they would look at you and assume, oh yeah, this is it. The problem that you're, that you're focusing on is you're saying, yeah, well, if it's fun, you wouldn't have to pay. Okay, cool. If it's fun, why is there the option to pay? Like if, if the game is fun, why are you giving people the option to pay to skip it? Like if, if, you as a game designer decide on the experience that you want people to have. If you have created and crafted an experience and you've decided this is how people are going to experience the game, but I know that a lot of people aren't going to enjoy that, so I'm going to just let them pay to get to the end of it. You're actively showing that you think people are going to want to pay through the game. You're, you're effectively coming with the attitude of Yes, you could pay money to get the reward, but if the process is fun, why would you do that? And I completely agree. You just need to go one step further. If the process is this, why is the option to pay there? That's the thing. But why is it there? If you have made the best game you possibly can, you don't need to put in the, the pay to win option or the pay to advance or the pay to push past or the pay to grind. Because the grind, the push, the fun, the game, that is the process. The reason you put it in is because some people don't enjoy the process and want to just pay to get the reward. That's what it is. And you're trying to satisfy both demographics. And then at the end, you end up satisfying no demographic because you have the demographic that want to grind the game and know when they see someone with a rare item, they have done the same grinding.
because then there's that kind of mutual respect between you doing it and them doing it. And you have people that want to throw money at the game and become more powerful. So then when people see them being powerful, everyone knows that they're rich. The problem is you make both of those demographics unhappy. You have the people who have you know, grinding to get it, see the people who spend money be at the same level, that makes them sad. And then you have the people who spend the money, who see people who are not spending the money, who are as powerful as them, and that makes them sad. You either want a game where you throw money at it to win, or a game where you play to win. When you put pay to win into it, you end up making a lot of people unhappy. That's the shame. That is the shame. Yeah, they want money. You want the shareholders happy. You just, you make money. How are you? I am very well. Thank you for asking, man. How are you doing today? What if you create the best, most satisfying gameplay too, but there's so much of it to grind through? Would introducing a pay-to-skip still be called pay-to-win? Yeah, because you're, the winning is getting to the end. That's what the majority... You're also... You're approaching this as if there's a black and white, right and wrong, yes and no, just, you know, straight-up answer to it all. There isn't a straight-up answer to it all. It is, this is the experience you can have in the game. However, if you pay money, this is the experience you can have in the game. And a lot of your players will look at you and go, hang on, why, after I've bought the game, does the experience change based on how much money I now put into it? Why is player A having a different game experience to player B because player A is throwing more money at the game? Why is that the case? If that's the case, what game have you actually designed? People like to say, oh, is this pay to win? Is that pay to win? Is this pay to win? Work out what the hell winning is. If winning is being the most... You're discussing pay to skip, which isn't always pay to win. They are related if getting to the end game is part of winning. If you would consider the win state to be max level, best equipment, end of the game, paying to get there quicker is an element of paying to win faster. That's what it is. If you design a game and then you decide that players are going to have a different experience based on how much money they then pay during the game, you are, even subconsciously, going to design a game that pushes people to want to spend that money. And the reason that I dislike it so much is because if you make the most amazing gameplay, but then you make it super grindy and you sell a skip, you could probably make a better game by just reducing the grind and not needing to sell the skip. If you put things in your game that people want to pay to pass, the thing isn't fun enough. That's the problem. If someone looks at an experience in your game and says, I'd rather pay money to not do this, you're creating a system that's designed to take money off people not designed to be as fun as possible. Yeah. I admire having the balls bring the pay to win discussion to Twitch. If the game is super good, the game budget is determined by expected revenues, so removing my transaction, the budget is smaller. Yeah, I know. I'm not. I'm completely aware of how game design works and where the money comes from and goes to, but I'm also advocating for the best possible experience within the game. My acorn is still gone, so I pray to thee. Hast thou any news for me? Doesn't mean that's pay to win or there's a problem with leveling in Final Fantasy XIV. Some people don't care about it. They want the end game. Yeah, they do. They absolutely do. Which is why people often come over to me and say, is this pay to win? As if there's like a binary yes, no. It's a sliding scale. Final Fantasy XIV has got money that you can pay to skip the leveling process. So it's not not at the bottom of the scale, but you also can't pay money to become super duper amazingly overpowered. So it's not at the top of the scale. It's on the scale. It's either at the bottom, at the top, or in the middle. All this talk of fun gameplay, a lot of grind. Thank you. Reminding you of Warframe. Absolutely. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Yes, the Warframe, the gameplay was fantastic. Did Treebeer turn into Saron? Yes, it can. Technically, you can say it's pay to win, even though there's the slightest bit of pay to win. Yeah, you can, and this is the problem. If there is the tiniest bit of you can spend money, people go, oh, the entire game is pay to win. Where it might not be. It's a sliding spectrum. It's a sliding scale. And then you have some people where you can buy power in the game, but because you can gain it through gameplay, people say, oh, it's not pay to win. 
People will accuse games that they don't like of being pay to win because they think it negates them. And people will defend games they do like away from being pay to win because they think it improves them. When the answer is, if a gameplay changes its experience based on how much money you put into it, Marty, damn, you talk a lot, Josh. Just play already, mate. <laughs> oh, Marty, you are not going to like this stream. If the gameplay experience changes based on how much money you put into the game, then it will sit somewhere on that scale. That's what it will be. It will sit somewhere on the scale. Feel good. Thank you very much for the donation. That's remarkably kind of you. Um, I'm pretty much ready to play now, but I'm just going to sit and just to annoy that Marty person some more. Um, Marty, you know what? You are right. Just I do talk a lot. I should just play. Marty, the stream is yours. I need you to entertain people. There are 1,000 people currently hanging out with us. Start typing. Type very fast because you need to keep up with the speed I would normally talk at. You need to, uh, to, to entertain people. Come on, Marty. It's all yours. I'm going to sit here and just wait for you to start typing something. And then I can play. Once he starts typing, I can start playing. Okay? It's okay. First time watching live, exactly what I expected. It's about to be different as soon as Marty starts typing some stuff. Come on, you can do it. Oh, he's gone. You know what? No, maybe he's right. Maybe I should just play the game. Let's just play the game. Here we go. Is this the acorn you seek? My joy soars to new heights indeed. I am reunited with my seed. As I promised, here it be. I hope its magic pleases thee. Keep this branch of mine with thee, and pass throughout the forest free. You can't use thee I twice in the game. I wish thee well, my mortal friend. Thou brought my sadness to an end. May the sunlight find you, thy days be long, thy winters kind, and thy roots be strong. Strummers stop game, start talk. There we go. That's better. I'll do that. Your character has a very powerful jaw. My character has the most powerful of all the jaws and all the chins in all the land. Okay? That is a that is a powerful jaw, jaw chin. As soon as I can get the dude to appear without the face. Yes! That is the Chad. That is Chadicus Dragon Age. That's his name. He knew he knew all about the dragons. Okay, so we've got the uh, it's not a jaw lion, it's a jaw mile. So, we've got the stick to pass through the forest now. And that's where the werewolves... Oh, it all comes together! That's where the werewolves are. We pass through the forest. Hey, Alistair's levelled up, ladies and gents. We might finally be able to get Alistair. Yes, let's bang some strength onto him so he can finally level some stuff up. Good, you got one extra point. What do you want, Alistair? What do you want? Weapon and shield is what we need from you. Right, what's this? Overpower? Not necessarily... Um, Templar, Warrior, Bravery, interesting. A bonus to damage, physical resistance, and mental resistance. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll take Bravery. Uh, passive, Perfect Striking. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Make him uh, even stronger. Can Alistair finally actually wear this armor now? Is this the, the stuff that he... Nope, nope, requires 28 strength. Didn't I just level... Oh, hang on, nope. There we go. Alistair, ah, oh, finally. Requires 34 strength. Requires 38 strength. Requires something. So you can actually wear this. This is 30 strength. Alistair, you can now go with heavy plate gloves. We're getting him better. I put all my stats into chin. That's what I did. All of my stats. Let's create two hypotheses, just for argument's sake. I love me some hypothesize. I make a game. Marty, I really hope you enjoyed that gameplay, because it's going to be a while until the next stuff carries on. Okay. I make a game and sell it for 50 bucks. You have a smooth experience. Um, okay, yep, that's cool. Give it to you for free. But to skip the time sinks, you have to pay the 50 bucks. In the first one, you have one option. It's closed box. In the other one, you've got that one. Yep, Florent, I'm trying as hard as I can to read what you've written. I get the idea. The developers keep the game running and new things. See, Florent, this is the other thing. I understand that both sides have positives and negatives. That's why I made the video in defense of pay to win. Because part of the complexities of discussing this is that there are benefits to both sides. It is a completely reasonable you know, argument to say 
a subscription game or a pay-to-win game brings in more money, therefore we can improve the game and make it better. But if your game is pay-to-win and you are bringing in more money, what are you then going to use that money doing? Probably working out more pay-to-win things. That's what it's going to be. Okay, let's start uh, with Alistair getting in some stuff. So Helmet Red Steel requires 28 strength armor. Nope, he's got a good helmet on already. Splint Mail Boots Tier 5 requires 28 strength. He's got Grey Iron currently. There's a Red Steel. Yeah, we'll put the Red Steel ones on. Even better for him. Yeah, in defense of pay-to-win wasn't particularly convincing. Well, some people will like it and some people won't. Templar Armor. Oh, there we go. 27 strength tier 3. Armor way better. Willpower, spell resistance. F oh, fantastic. Alistair's now actually looking like a proper Templar. This is good. This is very good. He's now actually looking a little bit sexier. He's got his stuff going on. He still can't wear the heavy plate boots. He still can't wear the armor of diligence. He's nowhere near the blood dragon plate. Haven't got the heavy armor going on yet. Or the red cliff elite shield. He needs one more level. Okay, one more level, Alistair actually starts to get all the good stuff going on. Plus two to all attributes, plus three armor. Yeah, the, the Helm of Honolith right now is definitely the best thing for him. But he's moving up. He is moving up. The Blood Dragon Plate wasn't in the base game and is super overpowered. I think that's the um, expansion thing that I got. I can't wear it, but I've got it. He is ready for a crusade. He really is ready for a crusade. That's what we need to go on for. And Morrigan, you get to level up. I want to give you some more magic stuff because you do more damage, but I don't want you to die. So I'm thinking we go with Constitution just so she stops dying as much. Ooh, okay, let's go with Improved Combat Tactics. Yeah, more Combat Tactics makes you better. Fireball, we could teach you Fireball. DD, my goodness, thank you very much. Enjoy the happy holidays. Raise your glass. Oh, thank you, that's incredibly kind of you. I will, you know what? I will go and get some Baileys, we'll have a drink on stream, we'll chat about Dragon Age, that'd be great. I have a question for you. What's the one franchise you wish had an MMO? Legend of Zelda. Think about it. Legend of Zelda. Massive world, huge established lore, start as a, a Kokiri, start as a Zora, start as a Goron, start as a Gerudo, travel around all the areas absolutely so many dungeons from the entire game's history. Yeah, it'd be great. Because people, you don't need to make it exactly the same as it was before. Legend of Zelda style gameplay, you know, from um, Breath of the Wild multiplayer, effectively Genshin Impact is what it would look like, but without all of the extra monetization stuff. Just traveling around, that'd be great. I think that'd be really cool. A Legend of Zelda MMO would be or Soul Reaver, Legacy of Cain. I think a an MMO set in the, the lands of Nosgoth with humans versus vampires in a massive world, that could be really cool. Especially with all the ancient and all the history going through it. Yeah, I think Soul Reaver would be a really nice place for it. I'd, uh, I'd be more than happy with that. Okay, what do we do? What do we build her up? We've got another thing for her. Not bothered about Arcane Bolt. I want her, ideally. Blizzard is meant to be really powerful. But that requires 34 magic. Oh, hang on. If I go previous and previous, can I level... Yeah, hang on. 34 magic. Let's level you up to there. Can we get you Blizzard now? Let's go with improved combat tactics. Yes, we can. An Ice Storm deals continuous cold damage to everyone in it and slows their movement speed. Interesting. Granting bonuses to fire resistance. Targets can froze, be frozen solid. Sweet. You now know Blizzard. And what I'm going to use that with, I'm going to put... Uh, ice weapons on as well. Cool. So we've now all got frost weapons going on. I've got frost damage added to mine. You can cast Blizzard. I think that might be quite good. There was indeed. Why do EU people love Soul Reaver? Because it's a great game. It's just Shakespearean vampires. That's pretty much what it is. It's, it's just Shakespearean vampires. You catch your favourite flat screen TV streamer. I don't think Boaty is streaming right now. But you've got me, so if you have a second monitor, I can pretty much sort that out. You know, I can. I don't get why MMOs. I don't even play MMOs. Why am I here? You are here to admire Twitch chat's beautiful face as I play through it. Which way are we going now? This is the. Um, yeah, the East Forest. That's where we need to go to. Go to the East Forest. Now we carry on around. And we're going. Is it that way now? 
Oh, hang on, that was um, Daniela. And then we can go to the Mad Hermit Clearing, and then we've got the... Oh, okay, so forward and left, we can find the woman that was lost. This is good. This is good. We've got this. This is fine. I am playing super efficiently now. How many languages do I speak? All of them. All of them. I speak the international language, which is the language of love, but also maths, which actually is the international language. Um, I speak the MMO language, which is jumping. Um, if you want to say hello to someone, you jump. If you want to say go this way, you jump twice. If you want to express annoyance, you jump repeatedly. Uh, if you want to let someone know that you have arrived, you jump. Uh, and if you want to let someone know that you need the drop they just got, you jump. That's how you... Uh, that's basically how you, you communicate in MMOs. It's true. It's very true. You know what, though? In all honesty, um, the actual genuine... Ooh, hang on. You've been hurt, but you haven't. Now this should be Can amusing. I get a shot off onto you? Yes! Yeah, sweet! Oh, goodness me. Okay, not sweet. Um, Alistair, fall back. Morrigan, come forward. Idea. What? Sweet. Nope. Hang on. Not Blizzard. Let's freeze you this way. Okay, so let's freeze them. And then I want to see what happens if... Morrigan, can you cast Blizzard just here? I just want to see what happens, to be honest. There we go. All right, loads of damage. Now everyone starts attacking werewolves. I need to run away. I'm being hurt quite a lot. Maybe I should run into the blizzard. Yes, run into the... Oh, yep. Run into the blizzard. That'll work for me. Come on, into the blizzard we go. Oh, no, now I'm moving slowly. Yeah, come on, blizzards. We can use those guys. Hey, you know what? Alistair's not dead yet, which I'm really impressed by. I'm super amazed Alistair's genuinely not dead. He seems to be surviving quite a lot. You don't know where to go? Yeah, you jump around in a circle. See? Straight up. Jump back into it. Jump communication is very important. Is today going to be a long stream? I hope so. I hope so. I want to try and get a, another at least three hour stream going on. Northern, thank you very much for cheering. That is remarkably kind of you. Spice up the streamer talk. I mean, I just like talking about stuff and playing games. When I said that to my careers advisor in school, they just kind of looked at me, a blank face. Isn't it great? The career is this my first playthrough? Yes, it genuinely is. Did anyone else have that careers advice in school? It'd be someone that worked out of like a cabin or like a little room connected to the school. When I say cabin, I mean like one of those industrial cabins, not like some random wooden shack off on the edge in like a wood. And you would walk in and there'd be like candles and crow's skulls hanging around. And you'd sit down and they'd cast bones and tell you what you're going to be in the life. No, it'd be more of a more of a genuine careers advice. They'd ask you questions, you know, what do you want to do? What do you want? That's a witch's hut. Oh, that's what my school had. Yeah, they'd always say, you know, what do you like? And you'd say, I, I don't know, I like swimming. And they'd be like, right, you're in the Navy. I'm like, that's that's a jump. It's a serious jump. It's so weird. They'd ask you questions about, uh, they'd ask you, you know, what do you like doing? Oh, I, I like cars. Excellent. You're going to be a mechanic. I'm thinking that's, that's a bit of a, a jump. You know, you can't take one thing someone likes and then make them be that. Th you know what I really hate about, uh, about the education system? And I, I'm allowed to critique this because I was a teacher for a long, long time. When you are 17, you still need to ask permission to go to the toilet. When you are 18, you are expected to know what you want to do for the rest of your life. That is quite a jump in responsibility. See, this is what I don't get. What you're meant to do if you want to actually improve someone's responsibility is slowly increase. Slowly. What you're not meant to do is give them absolutely no power over their own life whatsoever. They must ask permission to do literally anything. And then suddenly, one day later, they're in charge of everything in their life ever. You know, you're 17 years old, you're in college. You forget to bring a book. You forget to bring a pen. You forget to do your homework. Ooh, you're in trouble now. I'll see you after class. You have to stay in during lunchtime. 18, go and get a mortgage. I'm thinking, God damn, that's... It's a bit of a jump in the responsibility level. 
from one day to another. It's a bit dumb. So yeah, I'm not a not a huge fan of that, to be honest. Thank you very much, Berg, for the sub. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you were having a lovely day. How do I feel about rage games like getting over it? They've got a place. Not personally a huge thing of them. Yeah, you are. Harlequins are with um yeah, as soon as you're 18, what do you want to do with the rest of your life? Start a career. I have started more careers than I can possibly remember, and I've ended most of them because they were boring. And then they're like, hey Josh, what do you want to do? I'm like, I want to just talk to people and play video games. You can't do that, Josh. You cannot just talk to people and play video games all day. And they were wrong. Please. Help. Listen. I am not the mindless beast I appear to be. I know. I know. What happened? They... I am cursed. Turned into this creature. A curse. It... It burns in me. I fled into the forest. The werewolves, they took me in. But I had to return. I had to. Careful. These werewolves might have laid a trap for us or something. You never know. You are human. Madge, I taught drama. I am. I was an acting I teacher. Was once I taught how to act good. A Danish folk. To north my clan. Yes, I taught people how to do the acting better. And people would come to me and they wouldn't know how to act. And then they would leave and they still wouldn't know how to act. But they'd be able to act well enough to fake that they did know how to act. See? That was my skill. You know, here's the thing. If you want to do a, a crazy career move like attempting to do, you know, YouTube or Twitch, have a fallback plan. Get your education first and then have a fallback plan if that doesn't work. If you want to risk a, a crazy idea, that's cool. People always said to me, oh, you know, were you, were you risking going for the YouTube stuff? And I'm like, yeah, it was definitely a risk, but I had my GCSEs, I had my A-levels, I had a university degree behind me, so I had a lot of education to build up on and fall back on. People think, or they look at really successful people and they say, oh, you know, they, they had nothing else to fall back on. The safest way to do it is to have a lot to fall back on and to be building up on what you want to do as like a dream job while you have that safety net. What age group did I teach? I taught from, you know, infants all the way up to university level. I was like a, a, um, a contract teacher going to different places, teaching different subjects, or carrying around, um, uh, going around local theatre groups or professional theatre groups or semi-professional theatre groups and doing workshops and, you know, one-day intensive things and stuff like that. Yeah, some people can't afford to take those risks. Very, very true. Very, very true. You've got to do it slowly. You've got to go slowly for it. It's a hobby that goes far enough. That's exactly what it is, Shooter. People always say to me, you know, how do I start doing YouTube stuff? How do I start doing Twitch stuff? And the answer is, do it as a hobby because you love it. I started YouTube putting guides out for Neverwinter because I loved Neverwinter. I played it as a hobby and I wanted somewhere to put my guides. And that slowly started to snowball and I made more guides and put more kind of that stuff and went more and more and more and more and more. So... If you want to start YouTube, that's fine, but don't start it with the intention for it to become your new job. Start it as a hobby because you love it. You want to become someone that makes videos. You've got to love the process as much as you love the result and the outcome. For me, I like the process. I like playing games. I like writing about them. I like making a script. I like recording. I like editing. I like every step of this. So go for it. That's very true. People don't know... Um, who they want to be or what they want to do until they probably hit about, you know, between, I'd say, 26 to about 32, 33-ish. That kind of you know, six-year, six to seven-year period at the end of your 20s is where your, your life starts to make more sense to you. Uh, right, you are a Dalish who has already become a werewolf then. Your keeper, Zarthrian, is the one who sent me here. The keeper sent you... Then you seek with a fang. Yes, I do. Have you seen him? I have, but... <laughs> it is not what you think. 
but there is no time to explain. You must listen. My name is Denila. My husband, he is called Osros. Please, you must bring him a message. The stuff I wear. Bring it to him. <laughs> there is no time to explain, him, so let I me explain. Him. Tell him <laughs> I am dead, and with the gods, I beg you. Nice uh, comment in chat. Took me 14 years working as a cook to realise I didn't want to do that. Sometimes making it a hobby. Yeah, making kids choose what they want to do at 18 is, is kind of dumb. It's It's very... People are scared that they need a lot of college or university or high school. This this mindset is prevalent. You have to know what you want to do forever. No, you don't. It would help if you know the kind of person that you want to be. Do you want to be someone who works with food? Do you want to be someone who works with children? Do you want to be someone who works with machines? Do you want to be someone who creates art? Do you want to be someone who works in a big team? Do you want to be someone who works in a small team? It's great if you know the general things that you like about working life, about hobbies. A trade is always a useful thing to have, but you don't need to have a set defined plan when you're 18. It's very silly. Right. Okay, cool. You're... Look, I spoke to Arthur. He worries about you already. I want him to be at peace. He is a good man. Please do not let him suffer thinking of me. Oh, the pain. The curse is fire in my blood. This person, this werewolf, wants to die. Hand it for me. Hand it quickly. Right, uh, we can kill you. There must be some way to heal you. Look, we need answers. What's wrong with Witherfang? Tell me. I, I will tell you what I know. Ooh, interesting. Promised to end my pain. Okay. I pr do we do this? Do we promise we will kill them if they give us information about Witherfang? They're clearly not happy, and I think um, healing them is going to take a while. So, I promise... Are you going to continue the documentary, the MMORPG genre? At some point, yes. You know what? We're just going to do that. We're going to say yes. I, I will help you. Yes, but then don't kill them. No, no. I promise. Then, then know this. The werewolves are no longer violent animals. Oh. They have overcome the curse. Overcome the curse. Like I have. There is a ruin in the center of the forest. You may find them. Right, so we can find. They will think. You mean to kill them? I can tell you no more. The pain it is too much. Do we. You know what? We made a promise. I will kill you. Alright. Um, so be it. Kill her. You'll die soon enough. I can't do that. I'll take you back to the camp. Oh, do we take her back to the camp? I think we should take her back to the camp. Look, if you, she's in extreme pain. She's obviously going to want death. But if we take her back to the camp, we might be able to heal her. That's the thing. I'm going to take you back to the camp and see if we can. Am I a man of my word? Kill, you promised. You pinky promised. Ah, oh, You know what? I made a promise. I'm sorry. I don't feel good about this. Gods. Bless you. I don't feel good about what I just did. But I promised. Loot them. Didn't even. Oh, yep. Of course. Werewolf pelt, frozen lightning. Do not necessarily feel good about the promise that we made, but stab through the heart. 
with the chin. That's what we did. Oh, hey, cool. We can go into the uh, center now. But remember, uh, we will... We will abs... Oh, hang on. Is that every quest done? So we've done... Right, we haven't yet done that one. We've done Iron Bark and we've done Lost of the Curse. But we need to also do the kill the big main werewolf and get the get the big main heart. That's the next thing we should go and do. Stab through the heart and you're to blame. That's true. You give love a bad name. We need to do some kind of rhyme with the chin. Hey, we've got that... Um, we've got the branch now, so we should be able to just go straight through this here. Here we, yeah, the Grand Oaks branch allows you to pass the barrier. Hello, swift runner. The forest has not been vigilant enough. Still you come. You are stronger than we could have anticipated. The Dalish chose well, but you do not belong here, outsider. Leave this place. Yo, talk, man. Chat to me, okay? Look. Why won't you let me try and settle this dispute? You are sent by the treacherous Dalish to kill with a fang. I will not stand by and allow that to happen. Right, okay, cool. Who what is Witherfang to you? Is is Witherfang your leader? You know nothing about him. And I am not about to enlighten you. You are an intruder in our home. You come to kill. We don't come to kill. All your kind do. We have learned this lesson well. Here, Witherfang protects us. Here we learn our names and our beloved. We will defend Witherfang and this place with our lives. Ask him what is love. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Okay, Wynn, move backwards. M Alistair, move backwards. Me, move backwards. Morrigan, get rid of freeze literally everyone. So, I'm going to need you, Morrigan, to do a little bit of o OP freezing. Excellent. Literally everyone is frozen. Fantastic. Alistair, get out of there. Um, us two, get back. Morrigan, come back to here. Cast Blizzard there. Alistair, stay it. away. Everyone else, start to fight. Okay, cool. Did some damage. That's fine. Some damage is better than no damage. I'll take some over none. Attack Swift Runner. Come on. Okay, Wynn's about to die. So, Wynn, you might want to drink a health potion or something. Just keep trying to get you there. Intriguing gets Apollo. Right. Didn't expect to see that kind of uh, kind of dog jump in to attack us. Very interesting. That was unexpected. What is this? Ooh. Gravestone. Pile of bones. The air seems unnaturally cold around this ancient tombstone. Well, I will leave you alone and just loot this pile of bones next to you. That seems fine. Onyx Demonette statue and Elf Root. I'll take both of these things. And a chest of stuff. Yeah, it's Sif protecting our tourists. That's what it was. It was a wolf. I bet that was Witherfang. I bet that was the original wolf. And it was a beautiful wolf. And everyone loved them. Oh, hang on. I can, I can see you there, guys. Gatekeeper. Hello, Gatekeeper. We are invaded. Intruders have deceived their way into the forest's heart. Fall back to the ruins. Protect the lady. Interesting. Okay. They seem Be on very... your guard. I think we're being watched. Thanks, Wynn. You think we're being watched in the middle of a werewolf-infested forest? You are clearly the world's greatest tracker. Right. So, quick save. We're going to go in there in a second. Oh, not yet. I'm going to quick save and then we're going to go in there. We're going to kill these werewolves. We're going to sort it out. That howl was underwhelming. That's true. The volume definitely. The talking and the howl was definitely there. Right. Here's the plan. Let's take a short break, grab a drink. I'm going to get some alcohol, because this night is going to get crazy. It's a Wednesday night, but it's December, so I'm allowed to get a bit crazy. Use a town portal scroll. No, no, not yet. Not yet. We're going to 
Going to quick save again as soon as he zones in. Yes. Yes, I am. Baileys. I'm going to grab some Baileys. Right, ladies and gents, let's take 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Time for the bathroom. Time for Baileys. Walk around. Grab yourself a drink. Grab yourself a bite to eat. When we come back, we shall go into the werewolf infested ruins and see exactly what they're up to. 10 minutes starting now. I'll see you guys then.
It's okay, I'm back. It, but hang on, we're, we're going to start in a second because Marks and Spencers have been selling cherry liqueurs really cheaply. Oh, I'm sorry, you thought it was 10 minutes. All right. This is my stream. This is my rules. I said 10 minutes, might be five. You don't know. You don't control me. All right. Crazy what goes on around here. It's zany. That's what it is. It's never actually 10 minutes, ever. Am I on a list? You are now. You are now. F this mukbang stream, I'm off. Hey, right, look, Marks and Spencers have been selling cherry liqueurs really cheap and they're not very nice but they do contain liqueur which of course as any cultured person knows is french for brandy um so i've been eating a lot of them throughout the day the problem is when you start to eat a lot of alcohol throughout the day you get a little bit tipsy and that may have been the the state i've been existing in so um This is full of Baileys, by the way. There's no tea in this. It's just, it's just Baileys. Um, it's quite a lot of Baileys in here, actually. I couldn't find a clean glass in time, so I just rinsed out the tea mug. Don't judge me. How much do I need to be tipsy? Not much. I'm a huge lightweight. Absolute alpha control of the stream. Apex top of yeah, exactly. It is. See, you can't, you can't let people think that they know what's going on because then they start to take advantage they start to you know that they expect things you've got to keep people on the toes you've, you're going down a dark path i am of but course. it's okay because while on that path i will be tipsy and merry so it'll be fine oh this is where we start to see that apparently dragon age has like one or two dungeon designs that it then just recycles is this an elven place? Oh. did the elves live underground just like the dwarves now, I know one way to explore a new dungeon. And what you do is you run straight into the middle. And then nothing goes wrong. Apart from the fact that all the enemies appear. Okay? Oh, I apart see. Hey, see? I Look at this. Trophy. Look at this. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh, when you all thought it would be difficult, difficult lemon difficult but we got it see destroyed those wolves and so I got shall. some lesser health pootieses and everything as All well right. a greater health pooties a greater health pooties is like a lesser health pooties but better yeah the third monitor content is online good good no i am a huge lightweight with drink phalo and Herseon. thank you for the sub sorry if i've pronounced your name incorrectly but welcome Hopefully you're having a lovely day. I thought Josh said his mug was full of bay leaves. It might be. You don't know how I season my bay leaves. You don't know. Don't assume to know. That's my alarm to get back to work. Don't worry, alarm. I'm at work. See, that's how much I care about you. When I start these 10-minute breaks, I set a 10-minute timer on my phone, so I'm never late, apart from the times when I am. The phone doesn't tell me when to actually get back to the computer. I just, it says you should be at the computer now. And if I am, great. And if I'm not, problem. Back to work, Twitch Thal. Yeah, see? This is how much I care about you. I set alarms on my phone to make sure I get to work properly. See? I work. That's what I do. 50% of the time it works every time. What's in this door? The werewolves have barred the door from the other side. They're scared of the chin. They're cowards. That's what they are. Scared of the chin. Am I the British equivalent of Life of Boris or the Bailey? Yes. Yes, I am. The hero we don't deserve. I keep telling you, I am 100% player focused. All right, what's in this door? Run in. No tactics. Tactics are for losers and cowards. Right, and of those, I am neither. What's down here? A pile of rubble. That's what I wanted. Give me a health potion. No. Okay, no. Elf root, that's fine as well. 
So, no, I've never played um, Dragon Age before. Brand new to the, uh, the game, to the franchise, actually. And I, I'm learning as I go. Uh, I'm making a couple of mistakes, but we're learning as we go. Not making many mistakes, to be fair. Yeah, if I don't know what I'm doing, there's no way they can know what I'm doing. Oh, okay, a giant spider. That's fine. Everyone hold position. Let's wait for it to come to us. And then... Right, we don't need to run in. Where's Wynn? There's Wynn. I don't want Alistair to run in and start doing a load of tanky stuff. Okay, now you can start attacking Alistair. There we go. Have I ever played a Bioware game before? I've played... Um, I've played Baldur's Knights. That was a good one. I very much enjoyed Baldur's Knights. I think I played the enhanced version, uh, where you also got to play as... Because um, Baldur's Knights is a Pathfinder game, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. Let's. What, what I need to do is get all of these guys in a line so Morrigan can do her freezy breath. Yes! There we go. What about Feudal Lords of the Republic? Wasn't that a Star Trek game? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. I love Star Trek games. Star Trek games were great. That's where you go through the big gate, the, the circular gate with all the Egyptian symbols on the side that takes you to the Shadow Realm. That was a good one. And then you ended up playing uh, card games on motorcycles. What was it called? Digimon. That was the one. But yeah. Why don't you play a mage if you like to dress so elegant? Hey, I'm a rogue, okay? My character is a rogue. You don't need to be uh, to be magey if you want to dress elegant. You can dress sexy however you want. What about the actual Pathfinder game? I haven't played it yet. So, no. I've, uh, I'm aware, by the way, I just combined like seven games all into one. Of course. Okay, so quick save again. I'm going to quick save this game a lot. Alright, a lot. Aren't rogues mostly dressed as hobos? See, you want to be what's called the honest rogue. That's what you want to do. Be the honest rogue. That way, when you lie, everyone is surprised by it. Despite the fact that everyone was expecting you to lie anyway. Right, so I'm going to get some shots off onto this giant spider. And then so run back. The way you go on, truly. Run back to my team so they should be able to then support me with some mage damage. There we go. The scoundrel. Please tell me what Pot of Greed does. I can't figure it out. I understand why you can't figure that out. It's it's a complex card and it does need to be explained better. Um, but no, basically, Pot of Greed, and if you've seen the anime, you'll understand because they, they don't bring it up often enough that they really should. They should make more of a point to explain it. Pot of Greed guarantees that you don't stand a ghost of a chance when playing the game. That's what it is. People think that it means something different. No, it doesn't. Watch it. You don't stand a ghost of a chance when you play it. Requires 25 strength. Is that sword... Have we actually just found a better sword for Alistair? Pot of Greed lets you get a guaranteed withdrawal of two slices of thin pasta board. Yes. Greeding's owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles. Pot of Greed actually allows you to launch your turtle, you launch your knight using your catapult turtle at the enemy's flotation ring around their dark castle, causing the castle to crash onto the ground. You can destroy the moon, which changes the tides which means you then win, because you're fighting that weird dude that surfs a lot. Yeah. How is it even possible you are a better streamer than a YouTuber? I'm not. I just talk a lot. And people assume that I'm clever because I talk a lot. Not true at all. I hate that I know what scenes you're talking about. Hey, don't hate the fact they are great scenes. So, okay, you've been using a Viridium Longsword, Tier 4, 19 Strength. Nine damage. What about a better one? Darmisan. Damage 9.8. Critical chance higher. Armor pen higher. Strength mod higher. Yeah, okay. You know what? You can have this now. There you go. A better sword for you, dude. Scout's bow. Tier 3. Am I using a... My bow's pretty damn good. It's, it's tier 734 dexterity. Yeah. It's going to be a while until I get a better bow, to be fair. My, uh, my bow is pretty badass as it stands. Let's open these cocoons up and see what we find. It's an iron ring. We'll take that. We will sell it to someone As later. You It'll, more iron rings. Okay, apparently everyone was wearing iron rings when they 
Oh, just lots of iron rings. Everyone wearing an iron ring got eaten. That apparently was a thing that happened. Let's zoom in and... You know what I miss? I miss the fade. Am I planning on playing any more FF14? No, I've stopped playing it forever. I shall never return to it ever again. That's how I work. If I... That was really loud. The frick was that? That was goddamn loud. Rip headphone users, including me. Okay, let me just uh, turn the desktop down on that. I'm pretty sure that was like a werewolf growl. The predator thing. Prepare ourselves for combat. Thank you, Morrigan. We should prepare ourselves for combat. Thankfully, combat is... Alright, so, uh, yeah, this thing is really, really super aggressive. It was Yoshi P That was Yoshi P growling. It wasn't even in the game. That was real life. He was growling because he heard I'd quit Final Fantasy XIV forever. It was a genuine question. I know it was a genuine question, but please understand, I get asked that hundreds of times every stream. Hey, Josh, when are you playing Guild Wars 1 again? Guild Wars 2 again? Final Fantasy XIV again? Elder Scrolls Online again? Neverwinter again? When are you playing this again? When are you playing that again? When I get round to it. All right, eventually. Come to Brazil. Thomas, you've sold me. Done. I'll be there tomorrow. I'll jump on a plane. I'll sort it out. We'll make it happen. When am I playing Oblivion again? When am I playing that's Warframe? Again, that's, a that's a trap, guys. Don't, if I hate to hold everyone. Right. Can we just disable this trap? Now let me explain. That right there is a doorway. That is my favourite thing. When am I going to make new videos again? Uh, after December. I've already explained this. I've said that I'll be making more stuff after December because de watch out where I use. December is more of my... Oh, there's a huge big fireball there. December is my chill time. December is... What the... Bo what the balls? It's a dragon. Hang on. Let's just... Yeah, there we go. Now we can start attacking. Morrigan, do some freezing, please. Everyone do some attacking now. All right, cool. Now we got it. Sweet. Easy stuff. I love your content. Thank you. You're more than welcome. So I will absolutely, without a doubt, end up playing a lot more. Oh, I'm being mauled quite badly. I'm, I'm being abs eaten a lot. Let's uh, just step back. Oh, hang on. Should I switch to my weapons and see if I can stun you? Can I stun you? Yes! Oh, no, I'm stunned. No. That wasn't good. I ended up being stunned. I was the stunny, not the stunner. Not sure how I feel about that. Alistair, why are you not taking my DPS, my, my aggro off me? Why? This is a smaller dragon than the dragon we killed before. I've taken out a greater dragon already. I should be able to take out a small dragon, shouldn't I? I am a stunner. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, sweet. Taking down a dragon. Quick save, because that might not happen again for a while. What was in the dragon? Heavy chainmail, potent lyrium. We basically need Alistair just to get some more strength so we can give you even more things. I'm going to quick save a lot. Quick save a lot. Yeah. So yes, I will end up making... I've explained before that... Good job, Alistair. I've explained before that December is my kind of much more chill month to... Could you stop triggering traps, please, Alistair? Could you try and maybe trigger fewer traps? Small metal round shield, Viridium. Might be better than what Alistair's currently got. We're going to loot all these things. Some more elf root to make some more potions. All A dwarf right. corpse. Oh, Dwarven Steel Mace. I didn't expect there to be dwarves down here. Okay. So the uh, the werewolves are kind of connecting up with the dwarves, are they? Of Interesting. Course. Bit of a... Oh! Dragon's Horde. No way. Okay, hang on. This is awesome. We just found a, uh, a whole Dragon Horde thing. Potis, Potis, Potis. Fautia? A tier 7 bow... Plus two damage, rapid aim. Okay, nice. 34 dexterity, 9.6. That's good. Ice arrows, 
Silver medallion, topaz, topaz. Let's take all of that. Oh, damn, the inventory's full. Okay, cool. Right, we cannot leave until we have looted literally all of this. Um, right, we need to throw some stuff away. What do we not need? What is crap? Let's throw away some stuff. You know, iron rings, as great as they are, we don't use them for anything. So you can all be thrown away. May as well throw all of you away. Um, creationist's cord is plus 10 fire resistance, plus 10 effects to healing effects received. Unless that can go on Alastair. Oh, he hasn't even got a, a belt on. Alistair, you haven't even got a, a thing around your neck. Spirit resistance, spell resistance, plus two constitution. Yeah, oh god. Okay, so Alistair's been running on, like, way below where he should be. Talon did. We've found an even better bow. Guys, we've found an even better bow. Let me just have a look at this. So currently, my bow right now, 9.6 damage, critical chance 1.6. Same as this, same as this. My other bow is 3% range critical and rapid aim. Let's see what happens if we put rapid aim on, shall we? So I've got this equipped currently. What is rapid aim? Is that just a, a thing that happens all the time? So with this bow, I get rapid aim. Or is it a skill that I need to add on to my hotbar somewhere? I'm guessing it's just a, a rapid aim makes you shoot faster. I thought so. Faster attacks. Excellent. So let's just quick save. You know what I think we should do before we carry on is we should probably go and sell all of this stuff. All right. Because I think I am... Splint mail gloves will take them. Up oh, again. Injury. Yeah, we're all full. I think I should probably go and sell some stuff. Basically a free rapid aim buff instead of having to use it from your action bar. Nice. You should quick save before quick saving. Thank you. I always do. I always make sure that I quick save before quick saving. Because otherwise you don't... There we go. Otherwise you don't quick save enough. Your character looks like the one from Oblivion. Of course he does. I mean, he looks a lot more handsome. I'd say this guy is... Uh, he's, he's got a good face. He's got a good, strong... Good, strong jawline. A strong, solid face. But for now, we'll try this bow. See if it does any better. See if it works. Hopefully Alistair won't set any more traps off. Uh, map is straightforward and to the left. There we go. High level Breton. He's a one-to-one -one copy of me. Thank you. That is the greatest compliment you could possibly pay me. Let's go see what's in this room. Because if this bow is really good, I can give a bow to like Alistair or something. Have him tank with a bow. Might work, you never know. Ooh, pile of bones. Dal oh, Dalish gloves. Tier 3. Are they better than mine? They are. Oh, they, they do give bonus dexterity. And I am using dexterity as damagey stuff, so maybe we'll get some Dalish gloves in the future. Might be a thing we go for. Oh, that's some uh, some gold and silver. Do love me a bit of gold and silver. Oh! Cargo down there. That's a shame. I thought we could. Always take health boost uses when you get the chance. Yeah, we need to go and sell some stuff. I've got a w l way too much stuff on me. And we need to go and sell it. So oh, Werewolf Lair is that way. And that is the Brazilian forest, and that is the lower... Oh, okay. So, actually, we have gone kind of the wrong way. The werewolf lair is the other way, forward and then leftish. So, we should have gone up this... Oh, I see. So, we've gone and killed a dragon that's involved with some dwarves, but actually, we need to go this... Oh, yeah, it's closed. Oh, yeah. I... Shut up. I remembered. I know, I was testing to see if you remembered. One of you did. Well done. You succeeded. You have won the prize. The prize is... We go the other way. The prize is this way. Oh, if you're after a game where someone doesn't open the uh, the map every few seconds and just twitch save, twitch save, quick save, the Baileys is going to the head all the time, you're in the wrong stream. Found you on YouTube. Your vids are awesome. Thank you very much. Cheeky lean. Thank you. It's remarkably kind of you. How are you doing today? Oh, my cat is mowing at me to be let out of the room. Come on then, Mia. You can head out of the room. Oh, go on you. Go downstairs and get fed. Okay. She's all sorted and done. Right. Let us continue. Yeah. She was like, get out. Get out now. Oh, that was a loud cat. Yeah, she just sat by the door. You won't ever be able to see her on camera because Mia does not like being picked up. And she does not like being handled, and she does not like being told what to do or put anywhere. Area unlocked, lower... It's a ghost! 
It's a ghost. Oh, it's a lot of zombies. Okay, let's just um. Okay, yo, Alistair, I pressed H to hold. Come back here, man. Chill. Right, and now we need Morrigan coming forward and doing her her uh, ice blast thing because it's broken powerful. There we go. Okay, now everyone can start attacking stuff. I, st I cannot believe how powerful that is. Do Piper and Apollo cause her problems? Uh, no, Mia actually bullies them. Piper enjoys running after Mia and kind of being like, no, play, hey, I want to play. And Mia will turn around and she'll keep her claws in. She'll never actually hurt them, but she will just smack Piper on the face. Like, Piper will get really close up. Mia will just be like, bonk, just go away. And uh, then she, she backs off. Piper never learns, though. She constantly, constantly tries to, you know, hang out with her and be friends with her and get closer and stuff. She, she tries. She really does try. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. It's a trap. No, it's not a trap. It's a ghost. It's, it's only a trap if you die. Okay? Otherwise, it is a genius. Yo, Morrigan, I need you to do the blizzard effect just here. I need to keep running this way. I'll have to run this way. Come on, Morrigan. Cast the blizzard. And after casting the blizzard... Oh, that hit basically no one. Fantastic. Uh, can you run to here, Morrigan? And then do the freeze on these two. Yeah, okay. Sweet. We got it now. Now we can take these two guys out. Why am I not... There we go. Now I've got my bow equipped. wasn't using my bow for some reason. Let's see if my uh, fast shot arrows, you can actually tell. Oh, you definitely can. You can most definitely tell the fast shot arrows. Good lord. They are firing a lot faster than before. I like this. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime subs from everyone. That is very, very kind of you. Hopefully you are having a lovely day. And I'm allowing your day to be full of, of Dragon Age. That's my plan. I just want to entertain you. Entertain you all with Dragon Age. This is in the Elven Forest. It is indeed. Did I hear that Soldier Boy got banned from Twitch twice in one day? I did, actually. I make sure that I'm fully aware and up to date with all Soldier Boy happenings. I have an alert on my phone for any and all Soldier Boy related news. I, I refuse to go anywhere until I'm fully up to date with Soldier Boy's current, uh, just current life situation, really. Uh, in other answers, no, I had no idea. Um, but I'm sure he's he's thought long and hard about what he did. I cannot be defeated. I'm sure he's thinking carefully about his next choice, his next move. I'm sure he's saddened. He's probably going to go and cry on his pile of money while doing the soldier boy dance. Of course. That's what I assume he does. Dalish armor plus one dexterity. Oh, it might be a good idea. I don't know. Is it a good idea? I'm not sure. Can I take it? I can't. Inventory's full. We'll throw some stuff away later. I don't think I even need Danish armor, to be fair. What money? He's got none. He's trying to promote NFTs. Oh, dude. Okay, I didn't realize that. I did not realize that. I would make the Josh Strife Players Station. Yeah! This, I can't see that being a legal minefield at all. I think that would be a terrific idea. What could possibly go wrong? I'm just looting every room in here. Dal Thuand, Viridium X. Yeah, it's nothing uh, nothing cool. To be honest, most of the items that you seem to get at high level, it's more about the benefits and more about the... Ooh, oh, fuck me, that was loud. Have a creature ahead. Okay, so Poisonous Spider. Right, Morrigan... Oh, God, there's multiple ones. On. Okay, cool. Yes. Right, Morrigan, deal with these two. Get yourself Let's finish freezing them there. Alistair, come back. Otherwise, you're going to get frozen. I'm going to deal with these guys. You guys deal with them. I'll sort these out. Don't you worry about me. Right, Morrigan, I need you uh, to get your cone of cold back. Pretty, pretty bloody fast, to be honest. Is your cone of cold ready yet? No, it is not. Okay? It is not. Stalker 2 chose the NFT road. It sucks, doesn't it? It really does suck. I'm like the British Asmon Gold. Thank you. That's actually quite a compliment. I'll take that. Yeah, I'm nearly dead, but I'm going to sacrifice myself by just freezing whatever's here. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Everyone now attack this dude. 
And now everyone attacked this dude, apart from me. Let's continue. Oh, switch back to my... Come on. There we go. He's not bald. Not yet. Maybe one day I will be. But until then, I'll keep going with this kind of hair. No, I like Asmongold a lot. I know a lot of people have got uh, problems with him, but I think he's uh, an incredibly entertaining, incredibly talented... But I've said this before many times, okay? He's very talented. He's very entertaining. He's... What he did was he, he chose the stream persona of excess. You know, I'm... He's going to go with the playing up to the camera kind of thing. I chose the the more, a much more kind of laid back stream persona of basically me, just slightly more arrogant, which I think is funny. I only do, the, this is very important. I will always, if I can, this is real talk. I will always, if I can, make myself the butt of the joke. That's the best way to do it. If you want to play up to being arrogant, that's fine. Watch. I'm going to show you the best Dragon Age play you've ever seen. Here we go. Run straight into the centre of the room. That. I told you. Mummy? Mummy ah, yes. He is speaking the ancient, ancient language of Spanish. It's fine. I speak Spanish. Okay. I've, I've watched Dora the Explorer. I'm pretty sure I can do this. Okay. Are you looking for your mother, child? I can help you find her. Right, okay. S2 Twitch chat. Who es Ismamea? That is Spanish for I am Twitch chat. Where is your mother? Um, right. Uh, calm down, mate. What are you seeing? And then he ran away. And then skeletons popped up. God, stick to French. Hey. Okay. I'm good at all of the languages. All of them. Should have gone with the second one. No, it's good. But no, in all seriousness, always make yourself the butt of the joke. I will always do that. Right, let's all attack this skeleton first. This skeleton seems like the weakest. Oh, hang on. How many? Oh, god damn, there's even more in that room over there. Right. We need a door. Run. Run this way. Pretty sure this is back. Good. Okay. Morrigan, get ready to do the greatest ice blast of your life. Now. As you wish. Right. Cool. And now, everyone else deals with them. While Morrigan, you cast Blizzard to catch these guys in the edge. And after catching these guys in the edge, we should be good to go. Cool. Dying, Come on. That was actually really good. I'd like you all to be super impressed at how well I did there. Okay, you've got uh, this ready again. So I need a free run of all of these guys. Alistair, get out of the way. Cool. Everyone's frozen again. And now we return to shooting things. I'd say we're doing pretty good, to be fair. Morrigan, drink yourself a potion. Yes. Sweet. Yeah, this is pretty good. Once Morrigan is down, she's losing health, but it's okay. It's not a major... We've actually defeated a lot more skeletons than I thought we would do. Like, a lot more skeletons. So, Morrigan, can you run back to here? In fact, she is going to die in a second. So what I want to do is get her out of the way of the damage, get me out of the way of the damage, and get Morrigan freezing even more people. Yes! Sweet! Now do some more damage. Can I switch myself to my second weapon? I don't get why I keep switching to my primary weapon, to be honest. I want to stay... I did not think we would do that. This is it, my friend. Told me legendary Josh Josh playing Origins. Yes. Yes, Darth, welcome. You are about to see the world's greatest Dragon Age play. Always make yourself the butt of the joke. Yeah. He said butt. I find that's the safest way to do it. I don't mind being laughed at. Being laughed at is absolutely fine. Most modest, too. It is. I'm actually more modest than anyone else. 
Uh, other people have tried being as modest as I am. They're shit at it. Okay? I am way more modest than them. I don't care how modest you think you are. I'm more modest than you. Because you're bad at being modest. I'm good at it. See? Smash that skeleton there. Won that. The most modest. This man is extraordinarily humble. Miguel, I'm extraordinarily everything. Okay? Don't go forgetting that. Let's keep looting this chest. I like your charisma. Thank you. I rolled a natural 18 over 100 and decided to just stick with that for the rest of the character. Fire arrows. Who needs fire arrows? Pointless. Not everyone makes charisma the dump stat when they're playing D&D. All right? I rolled terrible in wisdom and intelligence, decided to just go straight to charisma. Full on bard build. That's all you need. Once you've achieved that, that's pretty much all you need. 3d6 in order. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I rolled low strength. I've got to use items to buff that up. I want to put some ice arrows on my arrower. So that's, yep, yeah, that's, it's not a bow, it's an arrower. All right. Speak proper English. English, English. I've put the ice arrows onto my long distance arrow chucker. And now all I need to do is avoid any kind of trap. So as long as there's no ambush around here, we'll be okay. What's in here? All right, show me. That's a tree. What's down here? That's a glitch over there. Love a little bit of a bit of flicker. Oh, fountain. And so I shall. The water in the pool appears cool and clean. It is refreshed from some internal source, perhaps magically. Submerged in the water is what appears to be a small earthen jug. Examine and test the water carefully. The water appears normal. Dripping your hand into it, it is cool to the touch and definitely circulated by some unknown force. Should we drink? Should we drink it? I think we should take the, the jug. Let's take the jug. Nothing bad can go of this. It's the piss and hole. Don't drink the water. No, we're going to take the jug. You take the jug out of the pool. It's made of clay. It appears to be none the worse for its long submersion. Fill the jug with water. You dip the jug into the water until it fills up completely. Um, I'm just going just gonna to keep it, to be honest. Dump the water in the jug back into the pool. Slowly you spill the water. It splashes back. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Right. Let's drink it. Let's just neck it. Drink some of the water. The water is surprisingly refreshing, but otherwise has no special effects. That is, some dungeon master would have loved the fact we could have done this. Leave the pool alone. All right, sweet. So we've, we've drank some of the water. Nothing seems bad. Nothing seems wrong. Your followers are watching you do all of this. Yeah. Your character is almost as handsome as you and almost as humble. Rocks fall, everyone dies. Oh, the altar is plain and covered in a thin layer of dust. Numerous carvings cover its surface. But most are eroded. Place the empty earthen jug on top of the altar. Now, oh, um, let's, let's take the, the thing. Examine the earthen jug. The earthen jug is empty. I'm going to take it. Let's hang on. I've got an idea. Now, some may call me crazy, but bear with me. I'm going to fill the jug with water. I'm done. I am now going to leave the pool alone. And now I'm going to put that jug. I'm going to quick save because who knows what's going to happen. So that is unethical. We didn't get this far by following ethics. All right. You are unironically very hot. That's because the heating is on and I'm wearing a, a black shirt underneath this white shirt, underneath this waistcoat. All right. I am committed to the fashion, the look, the brand. But no, unironically, it is remarkably warm in this room. Place the filled earthen jug on the altar. Classic no pants attire. No, I've got class. I'm not sitting here no pants, okay? I've got class, but I'm also practical. So I'm wearing jogging bottoms because they're comfortable to sit in for long periods of time. Okay? 
You've got to find the middle ground. I'm not going to sit here on my, my, my chair that is half duct tape, sweating and sticking to it, am I? But I'm also not going to sit here without anything on. I'm not going to wear uncomfortable jeans. I'm going to wear nice, comfortable, you know, running trousers and stuff. What socks? I mean, just, just basic black socks, to be honest. This, it's not as interesting as you think it's going to be. The, the stream, the persona, the YouTuber, you know, that kind of stuff. That's just the, 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 the tantalising surface that you all see. And when people go, ooh, what kind of socks are you wearing? I'm not going to turn around and go, oh yeah, special magical socks from such and such a company that sent me them for free. Just socks. Just walked into Primark and bought them. I mean, obviously, first of all, because I'm classy, I walk into Marks and Spencers and look at their socks and I'm like, £10 for three socks, fuck off. And then I go to Primark and buy the opposite, 10 pairs for £3. Much better. Senefoot donated a pound, thank you. But are they comfy and easy to wear? They're only short, only shorts are comfy and easy to wear. Do I have fighting trousers? Do you mean one of the best, uh, one of the best songs from Professor Elemental? Without a doubt. Uh, the pants, uh, legitimately the pants are actually the manscaped ones that they did send me for free. So maybe it is a little bit rock and roll. It's a little bit rock and roll. Okay, place the filled earthen jug on top of the altar. Examine the carvings more closely. Most of the carvings are faded. What little you can make out involves a scene where the honoured dead is laid to rest inside a grand chamber. There seems to be some kind of process involving the altar before the body can be laid to rest, but most of the runes are illegible. Um, leave an offering. Leave a few coins immediately. You get the strong sensation that this is wrong. And without knowing why, you take the coins back. Interesting. Very interesting. There's nothing else that we can do. There's a fountain, there's, there's the water, there's the altar. Do we pray? Do we pray at the altar? I can pray at the I altar. Do. We haven't prayed yet. Let's kneel before the altar and pray. The water inside the jug suddenly begins boiling and bubbling until gas jets out of it into the air. We fucked up, guys. We fucked up. Something bad happened. All right. It's okay. We'll take on the shade, don't worry. Oh, good god damn. The amount of things they just hit us with. Miasma, death, sleep. Go on, Alistair. It's all you, mate. Alistair is the only one unaffected by this and is just ripping the shade apart. The answer for the puzzle is in a note. You don't need that. Don't worry about that. Crazy stuff. Do we uh, check it again? Atop the altar, it's an empty earthen jug. Um, pray. You kneel and pray. Nothing happens. Leave the altar alone. Interesting. Right. Examine the earthen jug. It's currently empty. Let's take it. All right. So we've got the thing. We've got the earthen jug. You know what? Maybe the door's open. Nope, the door's locked. Can you imagine if the door had just been open? That would have been so much easier. Right. What do... So we we prayed. Maybe we could fill the, the jug up again. Let's fill the jug up again. We'll, uh, we'll fill the earthen jug with water. There we go. We've dipped it in until it's filled up completely. We'll leave the pool alone. And then we'll put the water back on the altar. Yeah, there we go. Oh, pour the water from the earthen jug onto the altar. The water spills over the altar. And now, pray. Yep, nothing happens. Okay, place the empty jug on top of it. Leave the altar. Is there a note that explains how we are meant to solve this puzzle? There has got to be a note somewhere. It's not up here, therefore I'm not going back to find it. We are going to find this. We're going to do it. It went into my codex. Oh, okay, cool. Let's, um, let's fill the jug with water again. That's good. Let's leave the pool alone. The codex, you say? 
Interesting. The Codex. Uh, creatures, items, notes. Notes. Desire and need. Promise of pride. Gifts. Cranks. Nope. Nothing there. Control. Quest related. Could be in here. Summoning. Sciences. Interesting. Nope. Not that one. More things. That could be important. Malificarum Regents. Right, thank you very, very much. That is remarkably kind of you for the donation. Donation to the Classy Socks Fund. Zero would be so happy you're in a book. Run. Hey, we are. We're going to get there. It'll take, a, uh, take some time to work out exactly how we get there. Culture and history, it could be. Arrivals, maybe not. It's possibly... You know what? There's only so many choices we can do. There's only so many things. So let's place the filled earthen jug on top of the altar. Brilliant. Then let's examine the jug on the altar. It's filled. Then let's uh, drink all the water from... Take a single sip from the water in the jug. You take a sip, immediately the water begins to boil till gas jets out into the air. Okay, that's good. As long as it doesn't kill me, that's okay. We're making progress. Uh. Oh. Oh. Something happened. Is the door open now? It's st key re key required. Is there a key in the fountain now? Interesting. Um, leave the pool alone. That's fine. What? What do you want me to do? That was poisonous gas. No, it wasn't. Uh, do we... Filled with water from the pool. Pray. Kneel before and pray. Yep, the water begins to boil. and We need to find a way to put some stopper in the top of it, don't we? Oh, that's poison gas again. So that's, that's fine. We need to put some kind of stopper. Now take the jug... Alter. Now take the jug. It's empty. So there's nothing else we can do. Time to become a Skyrim guard. Pretty much. What about the statues with the bowls? I'm pretty sure they don't have anything that, you know, that helps me with this. So, no, no. Nothing. I mean, I'm holding tab to show me if there's anywhere to click or anything to, to pick up or find. You have a bowl. There's nothing over here. Where is is this in the Codex? Because everyone said it went to the Codex. But I've looked through the Codex, and I'm not finding it. Can't find any of this. It's not there. Books and songs. Would it be a book? The Tale of Illaren? No. Not finding that. Notes? Quest related? You Someone said it might be in notes. But I'm not finding it in notes at all, anywhere. I mean, if you can let me know where it's meant to be. Just brute fort all. It should be quest related. Quest related. Where could it be? The spot. No. A pinch of ashes. Definitely not. The scroll of Bannerstor. I'm going through them. I'm seeing what there is. There's, there's nothing I can see. There is nothing in the quest related notes about this. The Elven Ritual. Is that what it's called? The Elven Ritual. It's called the Elven Ritual. If we can find the Elven Ritual, I'll happily read it, but I cannot find the Elven Ritual anywhere. You can't even search for the Elven Ritual. Magic and religion? Unless it's in here somewhere. The, 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 the Maker and Draste. You missed the note. Backtrack a bit. I swear to God, if I have missed the note... I can't have missed the note, though. I search everywhere. Look, my map is complete, apart from all the bits that I haven't been to. So apart from all the places that I've not been to, I've been everywhere. So why don't we... Why don't we see what the other places are like? Places where I haven't yet been to. We'll start killing these guys, see what's happening. Where is Zero... Yeah, where is... I've been everywhere. Apart from all the rooms I haven't been into. Maybe you didn't notice the note. We'll see what happens. Examine the fountain, start its dialogue. Hey, notes, okay. We'll, we'll work this out. 
We're going to work this out. Shambling skeleton, come here. You've been everywhere, man. You have been everywhere. Are the shadows turned off? Yes, we are playing on what we call uh, potato quality graphics. Simply because when you don't play on potato quality graphics, your uh, game decides to crash. Right, so everyone here needs to run this way. Because, Morrigan, you need to do some serious magicking to get this fight back on our side. Yes, there we go. Okay, cool. Alistair, you're fine. You'll probably die, but uh, I, I believe in you. So Alistair can do his thing. We will attempt to hurt this thing. I know that Alistair is tanking like everyone right now. So, I mean, good job to him, to be fair. Alistair is tanking like a boss. That is what we need more from Alistair. Look at this. He is doing... Alistair is actually doing his damn job. That's what he's doing. Okay, you need to drink a potion. And then you need to freeze these two guys. Once these two are fed. I cannot genuinely believe Alistair hasn't died yet. That was really impressive. Mage Spec is in that temple. He and the Jug played a bad grills. Is the mage spec in the temple? Because I haven't changed any specializations yet at all. Why do I keep switching to my bow? To my basic weapons? I want to use the bow continuously and constantly. Guys, we just survived a really, really big ambush. That was actually pretty impressive. Yeah, he was great. He was genuinely great. I mean, I put him back in the, uh, the team mainly for the banter. But... If he starts bringing this level of, you know, competence with him, I'm be super impressed. Fang skeleton. Lesser putis, and I like it. Broken crate. Phylactery. Quartz. Let's take some stuff. Broken stone altar. What's on this? There's an indent in which something might be placed. No. Hang on. You know what might be placed there? The As jug. This elaborate artifact has a gem-like structure that contains what appears to be blood. Fresh and liquid, even after all this time. The gem is vibrating slightly. Hey guys, I found this. A device meant to hold a spirit, perhaps? Such would be my guess. Though, what might be left of any spirit within after such a long time trapped? This appears to be a phylactery of some kind. The essence of a mage kept magically preserved. If that were all it is, however, I would be surprised. Is that blood in there? Whose, I wonder? Do you think it would be all dried up after so long? Magic blood. There must be magic involved. I'm a drink it. What would you like to do? Um, what do we do? What do we do, guy? It's obviously a lich. It's obviously a lich. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna touch the gem. The gem is warm to the touch and your mind immediately begins swimming with visions, images and memories from a life not your own. Interesting. The presence in the gem is at first alarmed when it senses your touch. It recoils in fear and the images that rush your mind are ones of imprisonment and loneliness. Interesting. Interesting. What do we do? Let's, uh, yeah, I mean... Who are you? Where, where? Sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. The presence calms and is then racked with indecision. Rather than have you leave, it begs you to stay. More images flash through your mind. Time that the presence has spent trapped within the life gem. Time where the presence has slept, gone mad and then slept again. The presence has no name it can remember. You get the sense of an elf, a mage in glittering silver armour. But this was long ago, remembered as if through a fog. Interesting. Athena, my DMs on Discord are always open. Message me on Discord whenever you want. Yo, um, stop touching the gem. Right, anything I can do for you, mate? There are no images for a time. Only a fleeting sense of loneliness. Oh, that's quite a shame. The presence could give you what knowledge remains in it of how to become an arcane warrior. You are no mage, but you could teach such knowledge to those who are. This is all the presence has left to offer. Do we become an arcane warrior? Should we do this? Is this a good idea? Right. 
How would I give you the release you seek? What do we do with this? The Presence asks only one thing from you. Oblivion. Okay, I will... Yeah, cool. I will... I'll try to... How do I do this? The image that comes a faint and uncertain, a stone altar, and a life gem placed upon that altar. The life gem vibrates and explodes, destroying the presence within forever. The yearning that follows this image is keen and almost hopeless. You could teach me to become an arcane warrior. Right, gotcha. Whoever follows the arcane warrior's path will be the last of its order. I think we should do this, okay? I think we should do this. Yep, I will help you. Cool. The presence cannot remember where the altar is. Approach the stone altar with the gem. Right. Could its endless nightmare finally be over? The images that are sent to your mind depict a clear question. Do you still wish to learn the skills of the arcane warrior? The presence is ready to teach you. Okay. Yes, give me your memories. The memories flood into your mind. They are hazy and incomplete, but enough for any mage to gather a few of the talents that the arcane warriors once possessed. Now the presence asks that you keep your promise. Release it from its eternal prison. <laughs> nah, just throw it to the side. No, we should do this. Yeah, place the artifact on the stone altar. We'll do this. The last images from the presence are ones of joy. Oblivion will be a welcome relief. New quest. The Arcane Warrior. Specialization unlocked. Alistair approves. Alistair was happy about that. Sweet. Nice. We've got this. We can now become an Arcane Warrior. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but uh, we can be. So, oh. Warrior, Templar, Morrigan, Mage, Shapeshifter. Can you become like an Arcane Warrior? Is there a specialization talents and skills thing? I'm guessing when you level up you can change. You can't, but mages can. Right, so we can make Morrigan and Wynn into Arcane Warriors if we want to in the future. Mages can be battle mages. We can create our own battle mage. Cool. Uses magic instead of strength for equipment requirements. No. So we can just bang like really powerful armor and weapons on the mages. That's sweet. I'm happy with that. Arcane Warrior Blood Mage is such an OP combination. Hey, if we can put... Uh, if that's what it does, I'll be happy with that. How do we do this, though? How do we get the specialization point? Because you can only do it when they level up, can't you? You need to level up before you get like a specialization point. I think we're going the right way. Uh, entrance level. That way was the problem, wasn't it? Oh, that was the issue. That was the, the puzzle room. The game is really good. One at seven and one at 14. Okay, cool. And let's have a look. So, Morrigan, you are currently level 12, but I don't think we've necessarily specialized yet into what we've done. I don't think she's got a specialization that we've actually chosen. Isn't Arcane Warrior's auto attack, though? She already has Shapeshifter. Oh, okay, cool. Gotcha. Thank you very much for the bit. That's remarkably kind of you. Let's... Um Right, we basically need to... There's an enemy down there. I want to see if I can attack you. Oh, hang on. Right, um, Morrigan, no. come forward. Get yourself some freezing going on this way. There we go. Alistair, attack. Win, attack. I will deal with this dude. Here we go. This is good. We'll kill these guys while they're frozen. What magic's going an arcane warrior do? Just self-buffs. I'm assuming they can just cast all the regular magic stuff if they want to. Morrigan, come on, do some damage. There we go. Okay, at least... Hey, I can switch to my melee weapon and do dirty fighting to stun you. Get behind you. Oh, I thought you were stunned, shambling skeleton. Because I should now be able to do some melee stuff. I'm going to switch back to my, uh, my basic weapon. Alistair, come on, get tanking, mate. i oh, press H to unhold you, to be fair. Spirit Warrior is the most OP and the most boring class in the game. I love your YouTube videos, except the one about pay to win. Thanks. That, that's what I like. I like being told what people don't like. It's always good when someone logs on and like, Hey, I love, I love all your work, apart from this specific work, for this specific reason. 
What do I think of VR gaming? I think it's definitely the future once it gets cheaper. Hmm? Once it gets a lot cheaper. How to become handsome. Drink more water, eat less sugar, and get eight hours of sleep. Of it's a horrible way to do it, but unfortunately it's the only way. Darmisu. It's a one-handed dagger. I'm not using daggers much anymore, so... No. What's in the broken crate? More quartz. Yeah, good thing you missed the pay-to-win discussion earlier. You would not have liked that. The cost is far too high, isn't it? Yep, you do not want to be doing it. The cost is way too much. This is a big open room, which means it's going to be full of enemies, so hold everyone here. It is a sh That dude just shouted, shame about the face. Right, let's just blitz that guy if we can. Let's pull back and then all start attacking this dude. Yeah, okay, this is good. We're bringing them all to the door. Alistair, fall back. Everyone fall back. That means the dudes have to then come to the door. Right. And with them at the door, we can all attack in one go. Okay, loads of traps, so no one move over there. Everyone, I'm going to press H to hold everyone. Alistair, do not go that well. That's a bad idea. Yeah, we're not rushing in. We're being super, super clever. Found your worst MMO series. Apologies, answer the question. Looking for an MMO is the one you'd recommend currently. Uh, Guild Wars 1, Guild Wars 2, Elder Scrolls Online, Final Fantasy 14, RuneScape 3, RuneScape Old School, Warframe. Just lots. Virtual reality will definitely be the future of gaming. However, it will be the future of gaming once it's cheap enough and practical enough. Okay, don't run that way, Alistair, you absolute idiot. You goddamn buffoon. Everyone run back. Oh, what am I doing? I just like, triggered all of them. And I'm dead. We're going to hang here for a bit until those dudes come and get me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we go and attack them. It would be nice if Facebook didn't have... Yeah, so VR will definitely happen eventually. It's just a case of when it becomes cheap enough and practical enough. Because I've got a VR headset. The thing is, I haven't got the space for it. A lot of people forget how much space VR takes up. And not many people have a huge amount of, you know, free space in their house or their apartment or their flat or, you know, wherever it is they live. Virtual reality is, is massively space demanding. And it's expensive. And right now the games for it are somewhat rare. What's my thought on micro... Micronations? Do you mean microtransactions or micronations? Okay, so... Can I, uh... Oh, for some reason it paused. Micronations? Do you mean like the, uh, the Principality of Sealand? I appreciate you and I'm proud of you. Thank you. More people should tell me that more often. Do you know the one thing that Sword Art Online got spot on about virtual reality? It will only take off when you can do it while lying down. Who bought a Nintendo Wii? Statistically, everyone bought a Nintendo Wii. Everyone bought it twice. How many people played Nintendo Wii games the way they were meant to be played? By standing up and being really energetic with them. Right up until they realised you didn't need to do that. And you could instead just, you know, sit down and wiggle your arm around a little bit. Most people did that. So, virtual reality will be super popular as soon as you can just put the headset on, lie back on a bed, do nothing, and that's enough. Once that happens, great. Until that happens, a lot of VR makers forget that people are inherently really lazy. People are exceptionally lazy, and people want to play a game that's easy. They don't want to do physical, you know, demanding work while they're playing the game. You've made this point 30 times about VR. Athena, look, if you want me to have new material, you're going to have to take a six-month break and then come back in about six months. The thing, with, the thing with making a lot of videos and with Twitch streaming every day is not all of that stuff happens all the time. So sometimes you need to just start recycling conversation topics. All right? Don't make me tell you about the banana story again, because I will do. You need to recycle conversation topics. People always say, oh, Josh, why would you go on about the same stuff every time? Do you expect me to have, like, four hours of new, complete material 
every single time. It's not what I can do. Do tell, do tell, the banana story. You want the banana story. It's too intense. I personally think the banana story is far too intense. Okay, what is that? That is, is that all that dude all the way over there? There's no way that's the dude all the way over there. Okay, let's go this way. Run around oh, this way. Out, okay, even more traps detected. Fantastic. Right, we can kill him, but Alistair, you stay here. What? Alistair, stay here, dude. Fre out, God right. damn, there are so many traps in this room. It's quite an appealing story. Now this should be amusing. I don't quite know how impressive the banana story is going to be. Because the problem is, right now it's been built up too much. There's a lot of build-up to the banana story. Okay, where am I? I need to go and deactivate all of these pressure plates. That was a really mad sounding what? I think pay to win can be good, okay? Not every monetization scheme is viable. It helps players keep up in a game that only releases high level content because it gets infinitely harder to reach it. Yeah, that's just bad design if the game only releases high level content. The game needs to actually stop thinking about high level and low level and release content the majority of its player base can enjoy. If you release content the majority of your player base can't enjoy, that's just, that, that's idiotic. And you so need to I release shall. content the majority, the vast majority of your player base can enjoy. That's what you should be doing anyway. I would watch out Past is a key point. MMOs do need to crunch the numbers. Large flawed fire crystal. Yeah, we don't need that. Another trap detected. God damn, I am detecting traps all over the place. This room is trap central. Let's like try and uh, get rid of all these traps before we move through. Whatever you do, avoid the banana story. It's There's too much hype. It's built up too much now. You're all going to expect something amazing. It's going to happen. You're going to realise it's crap. I um, I feel that I'm going to let you all down with the banana story. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's an interesting story. We can't have everyone know it. We don't care. <sighs> is the banana story as good as the orange story? The orange story isn't a real thing. You just made that up. The banana story is actually re real. It genuinely happened. Hey, I leveled up. Fantastic. I have leveled up. Specialization 1, Assassin, Bard, Ranger, Duelist. Oh yeah, I haven't spent it yet. Um, what should I do with this? I should go for 40 Dexterity. Badass. Oh, right. Rogue. What should I do now? Archery is what I want. Crippling Shot. Shattering Shot. I want Master Archer eventually. Requires expert combat training. Okay, what was the previous one? Expert combat training. I don't think I've got any of that yet. Can we go for the next one? Oh, feign death. Maybe we should go for feign death. Shattering expectation is shot. Crippling, shattering shot. Okay. Normal damage of it hits, armor penalty, or crippling shot. Nice. Okay, we'll go with crippling shot. Might be a useful thing to have. We can do that instead. You want a banana emote because the banana story is a real classic. Pay to win's never a good thing. <sighs> Interesting. You made one why pay to win will be good, if I recall correctly. I dislike that. Now, the vid now, but look back, it's called why pay to win can be good. Yeah. Um, did you... I'm not going to spam me until you read this. Did you actually watch it, Tappy? That's the question. Did you watch the video? Because if you watch the video and you disagreed with the arguments in it, that's absolutely fine. So do I. I also... This is the thing. I also disagree with the arguments in it, but please understand the only way that we as you know humans can correctly debate against a point that we disagree with is we need to understand why people agree with it. Instead of just saying, I hate that because, or you're wrong because, we need to understand why people think they're right, because then we can start to dismantle those reasons instead of the reasons that we normally attack people for things. You need to understand what people support and why they support it so you can offer genuine, actual you know, rebuttals for why supporting that's not a great idea. The greatest strength you can possibly have to strengthen your own position is to earnestly try and understand the other position. Because when you understand the other position you become much more general and rounded in your position. And that's the way to do it. If someone says, oh, that's stupid. Okay, cool. Go to that side and work out why they think that. Because otherwise what happens is 
you become, it becomes us versus them. It becomes tribal. I like pay to win. I hate pay to win. You're wrong. No, you're wrong. Okay, cool. Both of them have reasons for liking that side. Work out what the other person's reasons are and then work out where the positives in this could be. Adventurer's Journal. Interesting. Okay. Take. Codex updated. Where's the Adventurer's Journal? Now, oh, that was just unbound, it was called. Nothing special. Shame. I thought it would be the thing. Yeah, I thought it would be the thing, but it was not the thing. That's a real shame. It's not the thing that I thought it was. All right, nothing special or magical for us. Only, yeah, people say only my viewpoint is right. It's, this is why no one likes being middle of the road, apart from the fact that middle of the road is often the best thing to be. Like, it, in some circumstances, you want to be extreme in your viewpoints. In some circumstances, extreme is good. You know, there isn't much room for debate. In most circumstances in life, you want to understand both points. And this is the biggest difference. The, the hardest thing to do. Attack the argument, not the person. I was having this discussion on, um, on, YouTube, on YouTube, on Discord recently. Basically, one person was talking about the community of another game, a game that they didn't like. And the person said, the entire community is stupid. And I said, right, why would you say that? And they're like, oh, because they are. The entire community is dumb and stupid. I want them to come and play my game, but they won't because they're so dumb. And I said, okay, cool. What's your goal here? What's, the, what's your ideal um, result of this conversation? And they said, oh, the idea result would be they all stop playing their stupid game and come over here. I'm like, okay, so are you willing to do whatever you need to do to achieve that result to get them to come and play your game? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, okay, the first thing you need to do is stop attacking them. Because when people are attacked, they don't see that as positive. What they do is... They feel attacked, they feel threatened, and they retreat back into the community that accepts them, which is the game they were playing, which strengthens their involvement in that community even more. If you want someone to change their opinion, you need to not attack them. You need to not make them feel dumb or stupid or wrong. You need to make them feel understood, feel listened to, feel valued. And then they will listen to you, and then you can put your points across, you know, carefully and honestly. If you enter with a hostile attitude, that's not a debate. That's just an argument and an attack and a constant barrage. You don't want that. It's very, very, very difficult, but you need to put your own ego aside and work on achieving the result that you want to have happen. If I walk into a room full of people and they're all doing something that's dumb and stupid and wrong and I want them to do something that's right, I don't start saying, hey, you're all dumb and stupid and wrong. Because immediately they then suddenly dislike me and they will ignore everything I have to say, even if what I say is correct, because they're now not bothered about the argument, they're bothered about me. They're bothered about shooting the messenger because the messenger is being a dick to them. That's the thing. So please, the best way to explain someone and the best way to show someone how they are potentially incorrect, and this is one that I do all the time, ask them to explain to you why they're right. And listen. Just listen. Do you know the greatest secret to being a con man? Listening. People always think that in order to con people or trick people, you need to talk, the silver tongue. You need to constantly talk. No. The best way to trick someone, the best way to convince someone, is to listen to them. Because a lot of people aren't listened to. And when you genuinely listen to someone and they talk and they explain, they start to explain their point of view and you start to understand it. And only by understanding their point of view can you then start to formulate counter-arguments because you need to know exactly what they think. Listen. And then ask them to explain why they're right. Again and again and again and again and again. And when... If you can spot... A, like to the point, explain to me why you're playing this legend of a game with a mouse and keyboard. 
You don't know that I am playing it with a mouse and keyboard. Okay? You don't know that I am or I'm not. I might have an Xbox controller right here. Okay? You don't know. I mean, it, it's not plugged in, but I do have an Xbox controller right here. Um, no, that's that's for when I play. That's for when I play PlayStation games. Yeah, most people think listening is waiting for their turn to talk. That's very true. That is very very true. Keep asking why. People say to me, "I believe this." Why? Because blah 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 blah. Okay, why do you believe them? Because blah 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 blah. Okay, why do you believe them? Because blah. If you want someone to recognise a flaw in their argument, people feel smart when they work something out. So if you want someone to recognise a flaw in their argument, ask questions that will lead them to work it out. That's the best way to do it. Ask questions that lead people to work out why they might be wrong instead of just insisting and explaining why everyone is wrong. Okay, so first thing we're going to do tactically is fall backwards, obviously. And now we're all going to attack, and I'm going to start shooting this dude over here. Uh, crippling shot. Yeah, let's get you off. Okay, see if it works. It, it kind of helps. Alastair, you don't need to run in yet. This has been Deep Thought with Josh Strife. Tune in next lot. Hope you would. Finally caught your streams. Don't tell me you're going to find this. No, we've got at least another hour or two to go, mate. You've got some, uh, you've got some serious stream amount left. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, you cannot change people's minds for them. What you can do is help create a scenario or a situation where they want to change their minds. That's the best way to do it. Instead of forcing someone to think a different way, you can. Put someone in a situation or help them get to a situation where them thinking a different way becomes the best choice for all involved. And only when you've done that Very well. do you actually change anyone's mind. That's the best way to look at it. Only when that happens do people change. That's all very interesting. What's up with the banana story? Okay, but you can't, uh, you can't get annoyed if this story just blows your mind way too much. I have never eaten a banana. I know. But bear with me. Because it gets better. I know, some of you are thinking, how can it possibly get better? Trust me, it does. Okay? When I was about, you know, 18 or 19, I thought, I've never eaten a banana. It's an unusual fact. I should go and eat a banana. Just to say I have. But then I thought, no. Because a lot of people have eaten a banana. Not many haven't. So when I'm famous, and when I... <laughs> that's a bit grim. When I'm super famous, and I write my autobiography... So I know some people are thinking, Josh, you don't write your autobiography, you get a ghostwriter to do it. No, I'll do it. I wouldn't trust anyone else to do it right. So when I'm famous and I write my autobiography, I will be able to put in my autobiography, Begin the onslaught. Josh Hayes has never eaten a banana. If I eat a banana, I can't put that in. Can I? And I would effectively be... Um, Cheating myself out of a... I like how we're just hanging back here while that thing happens over there. I would be cheating myself out of what I believe is uh, an endearing life story. If you write your own autobiography, wouldn't it be called your manual biography? No, 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 no. Yeah, so on page, you know, 702, it's going to be a long book, or whatever, at the very bottom there'll be a little asterisk, a little footnote, and it will say, Josh Hayes has never eaten a banana. It'll be there. Yeah. Did you know that pineapple in French is just banana without the B? A nana. Yeah. In fact, pineapple is pretty much... English is the only language, or one of the only languages, that has the word pineapple. Almost every other language calls it ananas. Oh, what's that? 
Hello there. Hang on. Stealth mode. They won't hear a thing. Goodness me, there are some enemies over there. Hang on. Let's just fall back over here. Right, uh, Morrigan, I'm going to need you to blizzard over here. An order. Yep, get some blizzard going on. Yes! Excellent! Got some blizzard stuff happening now. Now we can take out shambling skeletons. Shoot them all over there. No, not an anus. Ananus. Totally different. Okay, he heads out the gutter. Pineapple is a weird word. I'm very humble, he says. He'll also write a 700-page book about himself. I mean, right, that will be the first part of the quadrilogy. That will be, um... That'll be Josh Strife, the early years. That'll be page 1 to 800. Uh, then it'll be uh, infant school onwards to about, you know, uh, junior school. Then it'll probably go from junior school to high school. And then from high school to, to somewhere else. Delighted. Most humble streamer. It's true. It is true. I mean, I'm not saying that before I started streaming, Twitch wasn't really reaching its potential. But... That, like, that argument does make a lot of sense. Okay, so, I think everyone's dead now. Can't wait for the movie adaption. It'll be a great movie adaption. I'll write it, I'll direct it, and I'll play myself. Okay? Because I don't think any other actor would get me right. I think maybe if I'm busy on the day that I'm filming, we could probably get Henry Cavill to uh, play... Henry Cavill could be my stand-in. That's what he could be. He could do my stunts. Ashen Glove, 20% cold damage. Nope, don't need those. Oh, ah, cold damage might actually be good for um, Morrigan. Ruby I can take. Topaz we've already got. I think we've already got Garnets. Heavy Plate Boots, 30 strength. Don't know if we have any of those that we need. Let's just throw some crap away because we've got a lot of crap we do not need. Crafting. Who crafts? Okay. Who crafts? No one crafts. So, frozen lightning. Pointless. Resistance to lightning. You don't need it. Resistance to fire. Pointless. You don't need to resist things. Poison. Pointless. You don't need any of those things. Cowards use those things. Where am I? Where's the stuff? There it is. Heavy chain. Okay. Plate boots. Ashen gloves. Ruby. Yeah, we'll take you. Let's just have a look at the ashen gloves for Morrigan. What are you wearing on your hands currently? Cinderfell Gauntlets, 20% fire damage. You're not using fire. So Ashen Gloves, way better for you. Beautiful, see? My goodness, Fur, thank you very much for the donation. But wouldn't you be too busy playing Warhammer with Henry Cavill for him to be your stunt double? Not really. I mean, I'm pretty sure that I'd crush Henry Cavill in a Warhammer game in the first two or three turns. It's not a problem. Josh can be played by Nick Cage. Yes, I'll do that. And then in Nicolas Cage's documentary, I'll play him. What race do I play in Warhammer? Even if I play Tau. I'm not saying I'm good at Warhammer, but I could definitely win with a Tau melee army against anything. Okay? That's how good I am in this game. I don't even need dice. That's how good I am at the game. I mean, I'm always always within a um, arm's reach of some dice, just in case. Tyranid gun army. Yeah. I've, I will happily charge a Tyranid broodlord with a single Tau fire warrior. I'll still win easily. Um, is there a game in Warhammer you spend hundreds on an army and sit and never paint it? Yeah, pretty much. We've never seen Henry Cavill and Josh in the same room. Do you know why? Okay, Do you know why? It's not because we're the same person. It's because when I walk in, out of respect, he leaves. Okay, He understands the, uh, the hierarchy of what it is. He's just warming the room up for me until I get there. He's using his charm, his banter, his wit... He gets everyone ready. It's like, you know when the main band arrive and the, the warm-up band kind of head off, the support band? That's what it's like with me and Henry Cavill. Henry will walk into the room, get everyone ready for a good time, and then I'll walk in he'll be like, right, you've got this, I'll see you later. He heads off. That's what he does. That's the respect there. It's, uh, yeah, it's a difficult life, but it's the one I live. I go for it. Pretty much. Pretty much, Pyrolite. It's exactly how it works. Right, where are we going now? Um, we're going this way. I'm going to go down here. And then Nicolas Cage enters and everyone leaves. Not just me, everyone. When Nick walks in, we all go. Mainly for safety, to be honest. 
Delighted. Respect is a weird way of saying honouring a restraining order. I mean, yeah, he's got to walk away from me. Right, requires... Oh, okay, tier four. Dexterity, armour, spirit resistance. Legacy, white shear. Peculiar and rare. You know what? Let's give some gifts out to people because I've got... A, my inventory is full, but I've got a lot of random gifts to give to people. So I think I should prob... We should probably start giving stuff out to people. Uh, painted sky ball. Polished black stone. I'm going to give that to Morrigan. Hey, Morrigan, have a black stone. Interesting. You're welcome. Uh, a bone. <laughs> hey, 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 should we? Should we give a bone to Alistair? I think we should. Alistair, have a bone. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. That's exactly what I expect he would say. Okay, he's a very, very kind guy. Uh, a locket, a beautiful woman with jewels in her hair. When there you go. Oh, marvelous! I knew, I knew she'd want that. Uh, what about a silver medallion? You know what? You can have that, Morgan. A fine gift. Plus you six. Have my thanks. God damn, son. Plus six. She literally loves me. Ever heard of an uh, MMO called Yedemons Online? Yes, I have. It's on the list. It's on the list. Sunblonde Vinter Golden Demon Pendant. Here you go, Morgan. A fine gift. Golden you have my Demon. Thanks. Onyx Demon Statuette. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, you didn't want it, but you've got it. Symbol of Andraste. Interesting. You didn't want that either. Small Silver Bar. Interesting. You didn't want that. You know what, Andraste. You, Alistair, you like Andraste. No, bad. Bad idea. Awful. Don't do it. I guess Alistair does not like Andraste. <laughs> bad touch. Bad touch. <laughs> I need an adult. Okay, you know what? Fine. Uh, how about Morrigan? You want some Andra Andraste's grace. A terrible notion. When? Oh, what are you thinking, honestly? I'll take it. I can't give myself gifts. Fuck it. No one wants Andraste's gay and grace. Fine. No one gets anything good. New ability. Inspired. Minor magic. In what? Interesting. Ability. Minor magic. Cool. You've uh, you've gained some stuff. Fantastic. Andraste's grace is Leliana's special item. Oh, gotcha. We should have given it to her. Ragnarok Online, yeah, it's in there. It's it's on the list. Kelpo, it's on the list. Everything's on the list, okay? It's a big, long list. Ancient Elven Armour, do we need it? Requires 22 strength. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that. Do Is my Ancient Elven Armour better than what I'm currently wearing? That's the question. What am I wearing currently? Scale Armour. Why? How have I got that on? It says requires 22 strength. Do I not have 22 strength or something? I thought... Strength. Oh! Interesting. Maybe I was wearing something that gave me a bonus to strength, and then I took it off. And now uh, now I've not got the bonus. That's what it is. Is it hot wearing two shirts and a vest? Extremely. Ridiculously so. But I've committed, to be honest. So I've pretty much committed to it. Oh, my hat gave plus two, didn't it? Yeah, I forgot about the plus two hat. I need to find some bloody instructions for this stupid thing. This stupid jug puzzle. Whatever that was. Hello chat, I'm Mr. Beast's stunt double. Good. Good. Hopefully you got some free drinks out of that when you were working in London. Right, so we've pretty much explored all down here. We've sorted the sarcophaguses out. We've done all this. Pile of, we've sorted that out. I don't think we've been this way yet. No, we haven't, but I can see there are some enemies. Can I stealth? I cannot stealth. Maybe I can just start blitzing them from a distance. Did you have trouble getting the game to run? Yes, I did. Yes, I did, which is why what I then did with it was reduce all the graphics to potato quality. Everything is on potato. So just take the graphics, like, all the way down. 
Did Thames and Tavern start uploading to YouTube? Nope, that's all there still. Callum will be dealing with that. Callum sorts all that stuff out. Hey, who leveled up? Win, you babe. Let's go with magic. And then, oh, hang on. Win is level 13. She's a spirit healer. When she gets one more level, she can go to an arcane warrior, can't she? Okay. Right. May learn to use their magic score to satisfy the strength requirement to equip higher level weapons and armor. Right, so next level, Win becomes an arcane warrior. That's what we want. Rology, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you are having a lovely day. Zero, welcome to the stream. I'm sure you're going to tell me exactly what I've been doing wrong for the last couple of hours. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, Win knows Cone of Cold now as well. This is good. Most overpowered, uh, ridiculously overpowered spell. So Win is now a controlling force as well. Fluorospar, the uncut stone. Lovely stuff. What's in this sarcophagus? We are pretty much just tomb robbing at this point, to be honest. This is, yeah, this is just tomb robbery. It does, however, say werewolf... Oh! Werewolf lair. How do we travel to it? Do we go down this... This bit here? I'm going to quick save the game see what happens. Let's go in here. Ooh. Mystical. I'm excited. I genuinely am enjoying this game. Lair of the Werewolves. Corpse Gall. I need some Corpse Gall for a quest. That's actually important. Of Fantastic. Course. Corpse Gall. Hang on. Should we go back and do the, the jug thing? I want to go back and do the jug thing. Let's go and work out what the hell the jug thing was at all. I've watched your pay to win as good and decided to pay £10 to my shitty MMO. Good. As long as you enjoy it. It's your money. Spend it on what you want. Yeah, the, the jug quest. The one that was telling us what we need to do and stuff for things. Did you find the tablet? I did not. Where the bloody hell is the tablet? Look, I've pretty much scoured the entire map. All right, I've, I've done everything I can. Where on earth is the tablet? Where's it meant to be? Is it meant to be on this map somewhere? Or is it in the werewolf lair? Because if... If I haven't... If I'm not meant to have found it yet, then I will carry on playing. You were supposed to follow the ghost boy for the tablet. Oh, the little ghost kid. Oh, I forgot about him. Thank you very much, by the way, for the uh, the cheers and the bits, guys. That's very, very, very kind of you. Thank you so much. Where was the ghost kid? Where did he live? Can I go this way? Uh, no, that's blocked. Tell us a Piper story. Ah, oh, there's, there's so many. Mainly when she wakes up and then goes straight back to sleep. She is she is literally the sleepiest dog. She is genuinely, without a doubt, extremely sleepy. Where the frick is the ghost kid? Would you mind closing the party approval thing? No. I can stay there. For one, I need to read it later. Okay? Thank you very much for launching the hype train, by the way, you beautiful people. If you've never been to the stream before, let me give you some friendly advice. Don't tell me when something annoys you, because I will leave it on out of just principle from then. Just... If something irritates you, just never mention it. Pavel, my goodness, thank you very, very much. Or Pavlo John, thank you very much for the uh, gifting out so many subs. That's remarkably kind of you. So let's let's work out what the bloody hell we're meant to do in this weird room here. There's only a couple of... I get so annoyed when you close windows. I see. Well, we'll uh, open this one and give it a quick read and leave it there. Good stuff. Right, what do we do? Open the thing. Leave. Drink some of the water. Yes. We've drank some of the water. And now we leave the pool alone. And now we take this. We take a sip of... The Examine the carving. Leave an offering. Kneel before. Leave the altar. Examine the earthen jug. The earthen jug is empty. Take the jug. Let's work out what we can do. Leave the altar alone. Here we go. I've got an idea. Fill the jug with water. We're back to this. Yes, we are. Right. 
Fill the earthen jug with water. Here goes 15 minutes solving the puzzle. We're going to solve it. Leave the pool alone. This is good. Put, so pray. Kneel before the altar and pray. Nothing appears to happen. Place the filled earthen jug on the altar. Okay, gotcha. Examine the earthen jug. That's fine. Take a single sip. That's the plan. You take a sip from the water in the jug and replace it onto the altar. The water begins to boil until gas jets out into the air. We've taken one sip. This is fine. And now we... Item received. Interesting. What was the item we received? Was it a key? I hope it was a key. If it was a key, we are, we are doing good. Plot items. Scarf. Patterns like sunlight falling through leaves have been woven into this scarf. <gasps> what do we do now? Now, do we take, leave an offering? No, don't leave the offering. Now we take the thing. We, we should probably take the jug and pour the rest of it back into the thing. Examine the earthen jug. It's filled with water. Take the earthen jug. Good. Interesting. Leave the altar alone and pour the rest of the jug into the fountain. Maybe that's how we do it. Uh, dump the water back into the pool. Nothing happens. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Pray, take a single sip, dump the water in the pool. Gotcha. Right. Fill the earthen jug with water. Remember, we do. We should have had a little ghost child tell us this, but the ghost child ran away because the ghost child is a is a freaking coward. That's what he is. Put, place the filled earth. Oh, do we pray first? Right. Put the jug on the altar. Place the jug on the altar. Good. Then kneel before and pray. Oh, gotcha. Gas jets out of it into the air. That's good. Items received. What was the item we've received? It keeps saying items received, but it doesn't tell me what I've got. Other? What, what has it given me? I don't understand what it's giving me. Now we take it, do we? Uh, examine the earthen jug. It's empty. The problem is, it's empty. Because whenever we pray, it empties. It might be bugs. The quest can bug. Right. Water in the jug, jug on altar, then pray, take a sip, dump the water in the pool. For some reason, that whenever it, um, whenever we pray to it with it on the thing, it, uh, it Twitch told me to do it. It, it happened. Ah, oh, right. Take the earthen jug again. What is the actual steps to go? Do you need to maybe find the kid or something? Find the ghost child? Do we have to find the ghost child to sort this out? You need the tablet. Right, you need the tablet. Okay. Well, we've got a... We've got a scarf. Where was the ghost boy? Scoot, thank you very much for the gifted subs. That is remarkably kind of you. Let's go and try and find the ghost boy. Plague Bat, thank you as well. Or Plague Brat. Thank you for uh, the instructions are in the room next to the ghost child. Yeah, but where was the ghost child? I've, I've searched every room. There is literally no room in this entire place I haven't been to. Apart from this room. This is the only room. Nope, fire arrow. Again, don't need it. See? Every single room has been searched. The only other room I might not have been to is this one over here. But I'm pretty sure I've been to this room. Can I not suck off of this? That's all that's there. Tablet. Fancy scroll. Ooh, the tablet. That might be useful. Carved Elven tablet. Codex updated. I mean, we'll have a look at this, but I don't know if this is going to do much. The topmost panel shows a jug overflowing with water standing on an altar. Three elves in robes are positioned around the altar, while a crowd of elves in warlike regalia stands slightly apart from them. Okay. Then they bow... Then they drink from the jug. Then they pour it. She holds the jug into the arm of things. Okay, cool. 
Right. So, I mean, that's that might be related. I don't think it's related, but what I'm going to try is I'm going to try an idea. And this is not related to the tablet we've just got. I want you to stop thinking that it is. I'm going to get rid of the party approval box. I'm not sure who... Uh, I wish people had told me to uh, to get rid of that before I right. did that. Right. You know what? Let's just press H so everyone stays still. Wynn, go and stand over there. And Morrigan, go and stand just there. I will deal with this because I know what I'm doing. One, fill so the jug with water. So put the earthen jug back into the... Fill the earthen jug with water. Sweet. Done. There we go. It's not related at all. It might work. Then we put the jug on the altar. Uh, place the filled earthen jug on top of the altar. Yep. Uh, kneel before the altar and pray. Oh, you kneel before, touching your forehead to the ground. You feel a sense of rightness and approval. Excellent. Now examine the earthen jug. Now we want to take a, a sip, a single sip. Good. Take a sip. Then we take the earthen jug and then we go and dump the water back into the fountain. Then we go and pour the water, dump the water into the pool. It shatters, the pieces falling into the pool. Okay, yeah, I've done this pretty well. Saving game. That's a good sign. Hey, that door's open and that wasn't open before. Let's just quick save the game just in case. Firth try. Yeah. Now, ah, what's in here? It's a ghost. Shade. Uh, let's go tell the shade that, uh, first of all, we'll just loot. Oh, press H so my party actually follow me. Uh, nothing else I can. Oh, it's a bad guy. Oh, I see. There's a, there's a skeleton archer over there. Well, as long as there aren't any more enemies, we'll be okay. Oh, no, Alistair is tanking like a boss. How does it feel being this suave? It's it's an interesting sensation. It's like puzzles don't even puzzle me, you know. During your live RPG playthroughs, do you play most of the side quests as well or focus on the main quest? So what I do, at us is I focus on the main quest and only do side quests when they tend to pop up. I don't go out of my way to find the side quests. Otherwise, I would, I'd, if I did the side quest, I'd still be playing Oblivion. So I tend to do the main quests. She's speaking Spanish. Or is it French? That's okay, I speak French, don't worry. Um, Voulez-vous uh, couver avec moi uh, ce choix? Ah, Frère Jaca. Frère Jaca. Donnez-vous. Sonne le matina. Ding, dang, dong. Off I go. Okay, everyone attacks the greatest shade. See what's happening with this. There we go. Do you want to run away with me, Dryer? No, it's, it's good. I know what I'm saying. All right. French is not a difficult language to understand. I understand it quite well. Let's just get rid of this greater shade if we can. So I need to get the hell out of the way. And Alistair, you need to get the hell out of the way. So Morrigan can do her fantastic let's freeze everyone attack. And after doing that, we should be able... Um, Wynn, can you do the resurrection trick? Revival of me. Yep, yeah, come on. Let's get everyone back up. Now I can attack the greater shade. And now we can attack the shade. Sweet! Everyone can attack the shade now. See? I'm pretty good at... Uh, I'm pretty pretty good at French. I can speak French. If I need to. Yeah, see? This shade ain't a... Ain't a patch on me. You're not, you're not gonna win, shade. 
shoot in the face with an arrow. That is what you get for speaking French. All right. Elven burial chamber. Let's see what's in here. Juggernaut plate armor. 10% resistance to basically everything. Requires 38 strength. I'm taking that. I'm, that's, I'm having that. That's mine now. Pile of bones. I don't need that. Juggernaut plate armor. 38. Hang on. If that's 38 strength and Morrigan has got... She could wear it. Morrigan could wear the Juggernaut plate armor once she gets the the spirit thing that allows her to be a, a spirit warrior. You can get a whole set of Juggernaut plate armor, best tank armor in the game. Yeah, I'll take that. That's a pretty cool, uh, cool thing for me. Mage tanks. That's what we're going to be working toward. So we've got the Juggernaut plate armor set. I'm not bothered about anything else. Now we can go and kill the werewolves. I'd say we're doing pretty good. So Alistair, yeah. you're close to leveling. So is Morrigan. You, when you level up, you should be able to change your specialization. And win. No. You are actually not very close to a level. Yes. Morrigan is, though, so that's the good one. Morrigan will hopefully level up soon. The Goodwill Warriors. Yes! That's what we're looking like. We are looking like people who do not really have too much uh, money and are just taking things from the floor as we find them. Win is just the, the healing stick, to be honest. Am I excited for Baldur's Gate 3? Absolutely. Absolutely. Haven't played it yet. I've watched Pro Jared play some of it. I enjoy Pro Jared's content. I like him as a guy. So when uh, Baldur's Gate 3 comes out, I will definitely be playing it probably live on Twitch, and you guys will get to make all the dumb decisions for me. Oh, yeah, um, Baldur's Gate 3 has Twitch integration, so you can use your chat to make choices. So you guys will all be able to choose the options, the speech options, that I respond to NPCs. I'm sure that'll be great. Can't see that going wrong in any way whatsoever. Yeah, I'm sure you guys will... Uh, I mean, do you remember when we played Vermintide? I don't know if you guys remembered this, but Vermintide 2, which is a Warhammer game, it's kind of cool. It's like um, the levels are all mini-adventures where you have to you know, fight your way through uh, a wave of enemies. But when you play Vermintide 2, Twitch chat actually get votes on the screen. And it's like, do you want A to happen or B to happen? And they vote for it. And then it's like, do you want the person you're watching to have a super powerful weapon? Or do you want to spawn two massive juggernaut enemies? And of course, everyone votes for all the shitty stuff to happen. So I don't think I've ever actually finished a game of it. Yeah, it's terrible. It's just, I, I can't finish a level of it. It's too much. Yeah, if you go Vermintide on Twitch, you could go to Let Them Suffer. It's awful. I cannot beat the game because you guys stop it. Every Twitch playthrough will be a murder hobo playthrough. Pretty much. But Vermintide is only uh, short missions and short levels. It's basically left for dead in the Warhammer universe. And it's fun. Oh, let's just hang back. Hang. Oh, goodness. Goodness me. Let's just hang back to here. Okay, everyone back. Apart from Morrigan, who needs to ice this way. Excellent. Everyone has now been caught. Well, get the hell out of the way. Start doing some stuff. Basically, everyone attack a wolf. Apart from me, who is going to attack this wolf. And ah, Here we go. Here we go. This is not good. This is not... Okay, Alistair, you are not tanking great. Hey, it's, it's okay, because Wynn has also got Code of Cold. So you can all be frozen... I mean, that freezes Alistair too, but that's a sacrifice that I'm willing to make. All right? I do not mind Alistair being frozen as well. Because all that happens then is, we need to go for this thingy, wait until they all get unfrozen, and by then, I was going to say, um, I was going to say you'd have your, you do have your freeze ready. Wind go that way, Alistair go this way, Morrigan freeze this way. Yep, sweet. Okay, wind's dead. Not a problem. It's totally okay. This is fine. Uh, Alistair, attack these dudes, because I want you to try and shatter them. I want... 
I want shattering to happen. If shattering can happen, Wynn unfortunately can't resurrect herself, which is a real shame. But apart from that, I mean, look at this. This is pretty good. We've done a... Okay, that was way better than I expected it to be. We just actually survived a werewolf ambush using two control mages. Check us out. If they win the level, they gift subs. The chat's nice to them. That's nice. Yeah, rookie part not resurrecting herself. I hope they finish Baldur's Gate 3 soon as well. I genuinely do. If they do, we'll do a joint playthrough. Let's just... Uh, oh, a lesser injury kit. That's probably going to be useful, actually, because I think a lot of us are very injured. Um, I've got an injury, and of course I am the main character, so I'm going to use my lesser injury kit on me. Let's just use those. Uh, Alistair, you're not injured. You're fine. Win, you do have an injury, but it's only a cracked skull. And that gives you a penalty to cunning, and you don't need to be cunning, you need to be healing. There's a difference. Am I going to do a little event for Baldur's Gate 3? Probably. I've honestly not given it too much thought. I've not really thought that far ahead. Oh, right. So they've uh, guarded some... A pile of filth? I love digging through a pile of filth for stuff. Money? I love filth money. It's my favourite type of money. Let's carry on. The werewolves have definitely fortified this place quite a lot. Wynne should have worn a helmet. She is wearing a helmet. She has like a little hoodie thing going on. Oh, there's a trap just there. Okay, press H so everyone holds. Right. Attack, apart from all you guys run back this way. Then attack. There we go. Can't be, uh... Can't be having you guys... Yeah, there we go. Much nicer. Oh, I've been mauled, it seems. Some slight maulage going on. Sanguel, thank you very much for the tier one up. Let's continue to shoot this shadow wolf down. I am really, genuinely enjoying this game quite a lot. Alistair, hang back here. Stop being dumb. Everyone stop being dumb. Attack this. We cannot start actually fighting until we get rid of all these traps. Sweet. Now we go for this over here. How far in the game am I? I don't know, actually. I, I'm not sure. You guys would have to tell me. I mean, you would probably know far more about how far in the game I am than I would. I'm going to cast Go. that just there. I'm going to hang back. Oh, ball! she was casting something. Well, that was a, a bit of a fail. I made... Uh, oh, god damn. Okay. I was going to say, I made Morrigan cast something and then I moved in the middle of the casting, so unfortunately it wasn't quite as, um, as effective. Let you choose the order pretty freely. It's hard to say. I found one person... I've only got one thing so far. When I kill the werewolf, I'm going to guess that I'll have the Dalish on my team as well. Of course. But I've only got um, red something. Hang on, let's have a look. I've got the Earl of something. The Earl of Redcliffe I've done. That's pretty much it. So I'm probably like a quarter of the way in. So, yeah, it's... Um, I've got a long way to go. I've got a long way to go yet. Um, Yolandri, thank you very much for the Prime Slab. Remarkably kind of you. Baldur's Gate 3 would have been perfect with combat using squares to move and stuff. Divinity like centimetre movement. Yeah, I, I liked Divinity, but it takes some getting used to, doesn't it? It really does take some getting used to. Ooh. A dagger, I don't need that. Yeah, Divinity is not the, the, the easiest thing to pick up and instantly grasp. It, uh, it really does take a bit of getting used to. But I like Divinity Original Sin too. Didn't you get the mages? When you say the mages, what do you mean? Oh yeah, they've got those too. A fancy vase. Let's take a fancy vase. Yeah, the circle, they're going to help us. The dogs are probably asleep downstairs by now. They're just chilling. They're having a good evening. They're relaxing. Keep quick saving all the time. Remember, the, uh, the greatest move in this game is the quick save. Oh, uh, and then it saved for me automatically. What does that mean? And so I shall. Oh. Well, I've quick saved. The game is now saved, which means I am going to quick save again. Here we go. Here we go. Stop, brothers and sisters. Be at ease. We do not wish any more of our people hurt. 
I ask you this now, outsider. Are you willing to parlay? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the whole thing. Of course. Not with me. I have been sent to you on behalf of the lady. She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. She means you no harm, provided your willingness to parlay in peace is an honest one. Parlay is not an English word. Parlay is Italian. It means a uh, small green herb that you put on top of um, lasagna. Yes, that's fine. Take me to... Why doesn't the lady want to come out and speak to herself? That's parsley. I, <laughs> I think I know my herbs, okay? We would not let her. We will protect our lady to our last breath. It may yet come to pass that you will kill the rest of us. You're thinking of parmesan. We will not chance her coming to harm. No, parmesan is when you allow someone to do something else. Right. If you're willing to talk, why didn't you just say so earlier? Swift Runner did not think it would matter. The lady disagrees. And since you have forced your way this far, we must acquiesce to You're her thinking wishes. of purely. No, that's when you are not feeling great and you're a little bit ill. Okay, fine. Is your lady Witherfang? She is not Witherfang. But she can tell you of Witherfang if you ask. But first, you must agree to parlay. The English arrogance of the stream is killing me. No, that's pastry. Gotcha. I see. Right, take me to the lady. Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the fade itself to see you pay. Interesting. So we're going to talk to the lady who's in charge of the werewolves, it seems. Let's not fight, because there's a lot of them. And as much as I believe in my ability to crowd control... Probably couldn't crowd... Hello? A forest simp, sylph, simp, sylvan thing. I see. I bid you Nymph, welcome. that was the word I was looking for. I am the lady of the forest. Really? Seem more like the lady of the ruin to me. Um, thank you. I'm glad we had this chance to talk. Do not listen to him, lady. He will betray you. We must attack him now. Hush, Swift Runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that what you want? No, my lady. Anything but that. Yeah, quiet down, Sim. And the time has come to speak with this outsider, to set our rage aside. I apologize. Does she sell bath water? I mean, probably. He struggles with his nature. Yeah, I mean, uh, as we all do. Truer words were never spoken. But few could claim the same as these creatures, that their very nature is a curse forced upon them. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, what hasn't he told me? It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. Centuries ago, when the Dalish first came to this land, a tribe of humans lived close to this forest. They sought to drive the Dalish away. <laughs> but Zathrian was a young man. Then. Grow up. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, the human tribe captured them both. <sighs> the humans tortured the boy, killed him. The girl they raped mm. and left. That's a little bit uh, heavy. God damn. Her, but she learned later she was And she killed herself. With child. She killed herself. Wow, Dragon Age. Way to... Uh, I was just enjoying killing werewolves, to be honest. 
Right, so the Zathrian curse, the one that's really upset his own people are, you know, falling for this, he made this. Right. Zathrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit, binding it to the body of a great wolf. So Witherfang came to me. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others were... Okay, so the dude's pretty much blood, reaping what he sowed now. ...twisted and savage creatures. They were twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained. So... Beautiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady. You. So, Witherfang could be an enemy. I showed Swiftrunner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage and. Could his we just kill Witherfang? Emerged, and he brought others to me. Right. Why didn't you go and rejoin the human society? They are still cursed, mortal. The bestial side of their nature cannot be denied. And this places them forever outside of the company of their people. We seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who are long dead. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the land ships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. We spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal, you must go to him. Ooh, bring him, bring him here. Interesting. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. I mean, I have another plan. Kill, kill the elves. No, right. I think he wishes to cure his own people, nothing else. He will never break the curse, my lady. He will never allow it. You know this. We cannot know that. Surely his rage does not run so deep he would endanger his own clan. If Zathrian comes, I shall summon Witherfang. I possess that power. I also have the power to ensure Witherfang is never found. Tell Zathrian Interesting. this. If he does not come... If he does not break the curse, he will never find Witherfang, and he will never cure his people. All right, cool, gotcha. Um, okay. Oh, do we just team up with the werewolves and kill the elves? We could just do that. People are like, yes, yes, please, yes, please. No, it could backfire. Do it, Paul, do it. Okay, you know what? No. I, I need the elves for the Grey Warden Treaty, so how about this? I will go and get Zathrian. And we shall await your return. Outside of this chamber, the passage leading back to the surface has been opened for you. Return with Zathrian as soon as you can. Okay, right. Let's go let Zathrian know. He's probably not going to believe us. He's probably not going to believe me, but remember that... As we said earlier, it's not about our ego, it's about the result. And the result that we need is we need to stop the blight. And if we can get both the werewolves and the elves on our team, that would be good. So I'm going to put my own ego aside and we're going to try and stop the blight. We're going to get both of them on our side. We're going to use them both. Compromise. Yes. It's not about me. As you desire. It's about getting everyone to agree with me. That's the difference. Death is always a choice for the elves. No, 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 it's good. Yeah, both. What ego? No. Most people think you have an id, an ego, and a super ego. That's the psychological general breakdown. Uh, I'm different. I have a super ego, a fantastic ego, and a stupendous ego. I've uh, managed to improve on all aspects of psychology. Let's go and let these elves know that we need more. Like an excellent nymph. No one can deny the charm of an arrow to the face. 
Yeah. Great to see your channel grow. Thank you, Fred. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Hey, it's Zathrian. How's it going, dude? Ah, and here you are already. Yeah. Um. Wouldn't the forest keep you out? I am a keeper with access to powers your king has long forgotten. I was never barred from this place. <laughs> he wishes to see if we did his work for him. Is that not why you were here now, sorcerer? Do not call me that, witch. I am keeper of this clan, and have done what I must. Did you acquire the heart? Mm, ooh, hoo, hoo. I'd rather talk about a deal. So you wish to play games? I can sense you do not have it. Why are you leaving the ruin? Right, gotcha. I've been sent to bring you to the Lady of the Forest. Oh, is that what the spirit calls herself now? And what does she want with me, if I might inquire? She won't summon Witherfang unless you agree to break the curse. You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? Yeah, I am. Um... I did kind of think as much. She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible, serene and savage, maiden and beast. She is the lady and Witherfang both, two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. Right, the werewolves have regained their minds, dude. They're pretty much, you know, chill. I find that difficult to believe. They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. Yo, um... Would you at least consider talking to them? Why? You claim they have regained their minds, but they are still savage beasts. Their nature is unchanged. All they want is revenge, or a release that I will not give them. No, let us take the heart and end it. Ace 10, thank you very much for the tier 3 sub. That is remarkably kind of you. Hopefully you are enjoying the stream. Hope to continue to provide many, many more. Dude, are you still angry after all this time? You were not there. You did not see what... What, what they did to my son, to my daughter, and so many others. You are not Dalish. How can you know how we had to struggle to be safe? How could I have let their crimes go unanswered? Yeah, but it's not their crimes. The crimes were committed centuries ago. You're punishing people that didn't do this. I remember them as if it were yesterday. Even if they are more than animals now, they desire nothing but revenge. They will never let my clan be. So your answer is to let them suffer forever? Tell me, if you held your own daughter's lifeless body in your arms, would you not also have sworn an eternity of pain on those who did such to her? Those who did such, yes, but who is being punished now? Very well. You wish me to go and talk? I will do so. But what if it is only more revenge they wish? Will you safeguard me from harm? Yes, I will. I fail to see the purpose behind this, but very well. It has been many centuries now. Let us see what the spirit has to say. Vengeance. We all want vengeance. But you have to work out what vengeance is achieving you. It's again, it's that question of what do you actually want the outcome or the result to be? If you want the outcome to be less suffering, this isn't it. So here you are, spirit. <sighs> she is the lady of the forest. You will address her properly. You've taken a name, spirit, and you've given names to your pets, these beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me a name, Zathrian, and the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages, worthless dogs, their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. No, but he I is. I am here to talk, though I see. And my goodness, thank you very much for all the gifted subs. We all know where this will lead. 
Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit. As is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? He said he summoned you and bound you to a wolf. And so he did. Witherfang and I are bound as one being. But such powerful magic could not be accomplished without Zathrian's own blood. If your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestor, Zathrian, but that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No, that is not how it is. Interesting. So, hang on. Whoa. How far will you go for revenge, Zathrian? Have you bound these guys for eternal suffering? I did it for my people. I did it for my son and my daughter. For them, for justice, I would do anything. The curse would not end with Zathrian's death. His life, however, relies on its existence. And I believe his death plays a part in its ending. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! You see? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way. Right, okay. Zathrin. Hmm. I'm sorry it has come to this swift runner. Go for the heart, Zathri, and you have my support. I won't help you do this. You'll end the curse if I have to force you myself. Uh, right, do we end the curse? Right, Zathrian, end the curse. Come on. Do this, dude. End the curse. We're standing for what's right here, no matter what. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. I'm kind of hoping we don't have to... Okay, right, so... Oh! So now we have werewolves and us, because they were obviously wrongly cursed, versus Zathrian and the trees. Okay. We're in trouble here. We are in trouble. No word of a lie. We are definitely in trouble. But I'm going to go for Zathrian first. 100% on Zathrian. The werewolves can deal with everything else. I'm going to try and deal with this dude. So, first plan. Switch to melee. Get behind. Do everything I can. Stun if possible. Okay, the stun was resisted. That's irritating. Right, I, I want to ignore most of the shades. Get behind Zathrian and just do a load of backstab damage. Come on, ignore the shades, just backstab damage. Okay, we might be able to take him down actually pretty damn quickly if I just focus on backstab damage. Okay, I might be about to die. Let's just get a health pootie set. Uh, probably a greater one that's looking like a decent one, so we'll, we'll drink that when I stand up. Just don't die. That's good. Good, we didn't die. Wind's dead, but that's fine. Let's keep attacking Zathrian. Come on. One or two more. Oh, no! Come on. Alistair, on Zathrian. I know you're taking the shade on. Kill Zathrian instead. Come on, Alistair. One big hit. There we go! I... I cannot... cannot defeat you. Finish it. Kill him now. No, Swift Runner. We will not kill him. If there is no room in our hearts for mercy, how may we expect there to be room in his? I cannot do as you ask, spirit. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I, I cannot do it. And you, and you called Alistair useless. Apologize. Alistair is not useless. I am sorry. I was wrong. 
Is that true, or are you afraid of dying? Hasn't this gone on long enough, Sathrian? Would you let your clan die for this? Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. It has consumed my soul. What of you, spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, Maker, put an end. We beg you. It's not the game crashing. Don't worry. You shame me, spirit. I am an old man, alive long past his time. Then you'll do it? You'll end the curse? <laughs> it's an odd part in the voice line. Yes, I think it is time. Let us... Let us put an end to it all. Good. Crazy old man who was super angry. Release the curse. Stop being a dick. Which, of course, is also the source of your immortality. And the Lady of the Forest's existence. You're a good peacekeeper. Right, this means that the elves and the werewolves both owe me. The elves and the pre-werewolves now both owe me. It's over. She's gone. And we're human. I can scarcely believe it. Oh, we killed that werewolf earlier because they begged us. To kill them. That's a shame. Right. I do good work. Time to pay up. Yes, well, what are you guys going to do now? We'll leave the forest, I suppose. Find other humans, see what's out there for us. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? Thank you. We will never forget you. You have literally no idea who I am. I'm no one at any point said my name. Take a nap. I hope that's... We will never forget you, pointy chin man. And in the future, legends will be told of the pointy chin man. Loot, loot, loot. Is there loot? I don't think there is any. There's no loot. There's just stuff. Upper level, upper level ruins. There's no loot around here. Maybe, maybe in the sarcophagus, maybe? Splint mail, red steel, don't need it. Asta's already got better. Although, if I take it, we can stick it on one of the mages next time. No, no loot around these parts. Yes. Chin as sharp as the werewolf's claws. Chin wolf, they called him. Sharp chin. Ah, uh, yes. Legend of sharp chin. Up the stairs, let's go out. We have defeated the werewolves. Maybe the real werewolf was the friends we made along the way. Loot in the other room. We've already been there. Oh, treasure pile. Splint mail boots. Fantastic. There we go. Got it. We got the boots. That was it. No. No, there's more. Skeletor's like, no. Treasure. Oof. No. Treasure. There's... What is all the gold on the floor? There's nothing else in there. There's nothing else in there. No, the real uh, most anticlimactic treasure ever. Yeah, here, have some boots. Have some shoes. Right, that's the Brazilian forest to the left. Pop back to the forest. Let the elves know that we've killed their leader, who was actually the dude that started the curse in the first place. 
And then they're like, hey, guys, we killed your leader because he was the dude that made the werewolves. Now you all owe us stuff. Did we do the ritual? We did. We did indeed. Right, where was the forest we went to? Uh, we're currently there, the Brazilian ruins. Brazilian forest. That's where we need to pop to. I'll t yeah, they'll, they'll take my word for it. They're not going to believe that I'm lying, are they? I wouldn't lie. I've never lied in my entire life. Apart from the time someone asked me if I'd lied and I said no. That was a lie. But apart from that, never have. Genuinely never have. Uh, north exit to the East Forest. The, Dar the Dalish Camp. That's where we need to get to. All the way through to the Dalish Camp. Just show them the boots as proof. They'll understand. When they see the boots, they'll be like, yeah, we know. We know. Is it a lie if I believe it too? Ooh, getting philosophical now. I do like the... Uh, I do like the graphics in the game, though. I know it's like a proper old RPG, but it feels comfortable. You know when you play an RPG so much it gets comfy? And you just start to appreciate it and remember it and know it? That's how I feel with it. It's comfortable. It's the comfortable RPG. Black Bear. Mate, switch to my bow. Take it down. Look at that. No problem at all. Alistair's going to get badass with all of his slicing around. Great Bear. Alistair, you need to level up pretty soon, mate. Because if you level up... If you level up, we can get even more. Oh, that, that's a lot of bears. I didn't realise that... Oh, that was awesome. Look at that freeze. Mid-leap. Alistair, you just tank those two bears over there, mate. You're doing fine. Don't worry about him. That was a really cool freeze frame right at the exact moment. Ah, yes. The infamous pack of bears. The bear factory. When you say bear with me, this is what you're talking about. My emote is finally relevant. I saw a bear. You did. Bowmen stand in melee range. Melee bow is the best uh, build in the game. I don't care what you think the best build in the game is. I'm telling you. It's melee bow. Because you see somebody... like, Because uh, a bow launches an arrow at someone at high speed. Do you know when the speed of the arrow is at the highest? It's when it's just been launched. So actually, the most dangerous place to stand if you're fighting a bowman is literally right in front of them. Because that's when the arrow is at its most angry. The angry arrow. Melee bow. It is done. The essence of the wolf's heart has banished all traces of cursed blood from the hunters. It is too bad that Zathrian had to die. I... I felt it when he It's not he really too bad, to be honest. I think he was ready to go. Yeah, I mean, um... Do you know about his connection to the curse? I suspected. But Zathrian did not like to talk about that. Nonetheless, the curse is over, and no one else will be subjected to it. It will be difficult to fill Zathrian's shoes. He was our keeper for many centuries, and he will be sorely missed. But I am keeper now. I mean, whoever you get next, Let as long as they don't cause an immortal man. blood curse. I hereby swear to Doing uphold good? the terms of the ancient contract our people formed with the Grey Wardens. Call, and we shall come, with great speed and purpose, and we shall strike at your foes. This, I swear. Yeah, I mean, as long as you, uh, as long as you don't cause an immortal blood curse that twists people into horrible abominations and then never, ever, ever forgive them, you're already doing better than the previous Keeper. It has been a long time since the Dalish marched to war, but I trust that in the end, we shall make a difference for you. Thanks. Achievements unlocked. And we've got even more quests to hand in. This was the uh, loss to the curse. Hey, hey, you know all those people that I saved from being werewolves? Well, your girlfriend I happened to kill. You have returned. Is there any chance you have news of Denala? Good news and bad news. Good news, everyone is saved. Bad news... You have news? Have you found her? Are, are you certain? Yeah, she's given me a scarf. That is her scarf. Where did you find her? What's become of her? She died from the curse. Zathrian told you the truth. The Keeper told me the truth? Are you certain? Okay, if you must know, dude... 
Oh, absolutely. She sends you her love as well. Oh, I see. At least she is at peace. Here is the amulet, as I promised. Now I should go and make arrangements. It's what he needs. I must mourn my wife as is proper. Dareth Shiroth. Fare you well. How could you know that she's dead? I'm because I killed her. She's very dead. Okay? Very dead. That's what he needed, alright? That's you Yes, it was a lie. But in another how dead? Super dead. Um, in another much more realistic way, she's alive in his heart. Okay? Hey, I remember you. You wanted some wood. We are working hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to anything else you find on the battlefield. Yeah, I got some wood for you. Truly? Let me see. Yes, that is indeed iron bark, and a substantial quantity of it as well. Well done. An agreement is an agreement. And I will craft something from this wood for you. What would you like? A bow? Or perhaps a breastplate? Ooh, longbow or breastplate? What do we do? What do we do? Um, <laughs> I think both would be more appropriate. We could go with both. I'm going to go with longbow. Manuvinin, I will craft it myself. Watch if you prefer. It will not take long. Sweet. And I've reformed the wood to my will. A Dalish longbow for you. May it serve you well. I swear to God, if you've given me something that's worse than what I'm currently using, I'll be very upset. Wolf Killer. Tier 7. My current bow. Tier... Okay, so Wolf Killer's tier 5. Damage is lower. Plus 4 damage versus undead. Plus 8 damage versus beasts. And I've got plus 2 damage and rapid aim. That's worse than what I'm using. Working hard to make enough yeah, I need to sell you some stuff, mate. I want to barter with you. I am no merchant. Uh, let me uh, let me sell you some stuff. So, longsword viridium, don't need. Mace, don't need. Uh, scout's bow, you don't need. Mage's eye, not using it. Wolf kill. Have your own shit bow back, mate. I don't want it. Oak branch viridium staff, two-handed. That's actually quite good. Magic staff, steel, not as good. I don't know if the oak branch is better than what we need. It requires 24 mage. Comparing items to... Compare the items to Morrigan. Oak branch is actually way better. So we'll give her the oak branch. Helmet. Red steel. 28 strength. I'm going to keep it... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Morrigan's leveled up. Does that mean we... Oh, she needs one more level before we can go for Arcane Warrior. God damn it. Oh, one more level and we can finally... <laughs> the disrespect of selling his own bow back to him. Thank you for the bow. How much for the bow? Six sixty-six silvers. There you go. Thank you. There we go. Curry, you're not going to miss much, mate. We are nearly finished anyway. Right, so let's go with magic for her. Just loads more magic. And, ooh, what do we give her for, uh, for stuff? Maybe we go with um, Fireball to Inferno. It's probably a good idea. Yeah, we'll slowly build her up to... Being able to use Inferno and... Oh, it's Alistair. Let's level you up to 32 strength so you can finally actually get something. Stealing, trap making, survival. You don't use much of this stuff, do you, Alistair? Uh, we'll go with trap making because then you can also find traps. Templar, mental fortress, large bonus to mental resilience. Oh, passive, interesting. Restoring a portion of the warrior's stamina when he kills someone. But I want sword and board. Shield expertise increases the defensive bonus, makes him immune to direct knockdown. That's pretty good. Shield expertise is the one. Has Alistair finally now got... Can you wear anything better? So, helmet, red steel. You... That's, you've got the best helmet already. Splint mail gloves requires 16 strength. You've got 30 strength. Heavy plate requires 38. Heavy plate boots. You've currently got splint mail boots. These are better. Sweet. 
Ancient Elven Armour. Tier 4. Dexterity and Armour, that's for me. There's nothing else. Oh, finally we can give you an actual better shield. So a Metal Kite Shield, pretty average. Redcliffe Elite Shield. Yeah, we've now got you an Elite Shield. You should be tanking. He is a tanky boy now. Can I wear that armour? No, I can't. Okay, cool. So we've got you a bit of a bit of a tanky boy going on. Wasn't there one more? You've recovered a set of four items hidden by a Tevinter Mage, other than buried with several Tevinter Generals out in the forest. Oh, there's more stuff going on with the things. I don't think there's any more quests to hand in. No, we're good. We've basically just recruited the Dalish now. So we've got the Isle of Redcliffe. He's all recruited. We've got the... Was it the Paragon of Her Kind? No, we've got the Isle of Redcliffe. He's done. I don't think there's anything else. Interesting. He has learned the terrible things here. Denerim, speak to our layman. We've got him. We now need to get a Paragon of Her Kind and gather the army of the different factions. So, a Paragon of Her Kind. Gain Orzammar's aid in battling the Blight. Oh yeah, the staff for Morrigan, wasn't it? Let's see if Morrigan can have the staff to be slightly better. So the Oak Branch, spell power 4, it's just better in every way. Ooh, staff projectile, arcane bolt. Sweet, does it come with a with a thing? No, okay. So you've got uh, an Oak Branch there, magic staff we can sell. Get rid of some of this at some point. I don't want to sell any armour until we've equipped them up when they've leveled up. In fact, how close is... Yeah, you're not going to be able to level up soon. Alright, so we've got the Isle of Radcliffe, we've got the Circle of Mages, we've got the Dalish. All we need to do now is... Um, you can put Alistair's helmet on Twitch chat temporarily to swap the armour. I could do. Not going to yet, but we could do at some point. So all we need to do now is go and find, is it Orzammar? Yeah, a paragon of her kind. On the trust of the dwarves. Right, Orzammar seems to be the next place. And that's going to be where? Where is Orzammar? Denerim, Frostback Mountains. Where the heck? In fact, if I just make it the main quest, it should be able to uh, to show. Paragon of her kind, make active. Where is that going to be? On it. Frostback Mountains. Oh, it's over there. Okay, cool. Borders with Olay. Let's travel over there then. The Frostback Mountains gets me to Orzammar. You can right click and drag items in a direction for fast equipping, selling, and destroying. Oh, cool. Oh, a cutscene. Not had many of these, to be honest. Interesting. That's a dragon. It's been an age since we've seen one of them. <gasps> You're awake. Did you. Did you feel it too? It was like the Archdemon saw us. Saw us! What does that mean? I think... Wait. Did you hear that? Oh. I did. Quick. Everyone attack the Alpha. Oh, so our entire team is fighting. That's kind of cool. No, we attack him first. We deal with you in a second. Okay, god damn. Good goddamn switch to melee. Let's get attacking you. Okay, so even the camp isn't safe anymore. That's a bit of a shame. Alright, god, this is not the way we should be doing this. Get behind. Do some damage from behind. Right, I'm going to run away for a second. Just have a, I'm dead. I see. Let's just load the last save and this, uh... All right, that's some. Um, that's some tough stuff. Oh God, damn it! It's saved here. Okay, right. If it's saved here, that means we need to get. We need to get ranging, or just run. Okay, I need to start running away. Maybe get a single shot off. I'm going to use my tactics of uh, running away, because I need to not die. If I die, basically the whole thing stops. 
Yeah, now we can get some attacks going on, see? God, there's so many stuns going on. Leliana, why have you died? I need you to not die, Leliana. I need you to seriously stop dying. My team is my team's doing pretty good to be fair. Alistair's alive still, but he should be, seeing as he's Yeah. You can only control your main right now, yes. But we seem to be doing okay. Alright, we're good. Apart from this one. Okay, we survived. We have survived. Good job, Duncan. I guess it's like Duncan once said. We can sense them, and they can sense us. We'd best be more careful from now on. This camp isn't safe any longer. Huh. What will they send next? Darkspawn tax collectors? Fortifications should be built around the camp. How unnerving. It will be more difficult to sleep here now. What, no trap? No ambush? <laughs> Some assassins. <laughs> Right. So, it's, uh, it's a bit more dangerous than, than before, so we're going to quick save. And, yeah, Darkspawn tax collectors are the real threat. That's how they got um, Al Capone, tax collection. That's, that's what you really want to be worried about. But for now, ladies and gents, it is 20 past 11. We've been streaming for four hours. I just got here. Did you bang Morrigan? I appreciate the fact that's the first question you asked. That is the most important important Dragon Age information that you need. No matter what happens, you need to know, did I sleep with Morrigan? The answer is, I'm going to carry on streaming on Saturday, and I will see you all then. Thank you very much for joining me. Saturday should be another worst MMO ever, uh, then a Wednesday video next week, probably a Monday uh, stream with Callum as well as usual. But join the Discord if you already haven't, there's links to it on every, every YouTube video. And until then, you guys have a lovely evening. Thank you very much for joining me. Take care, good night, and God bless.